Oh shit! First stream I, we already and have I immediately on. have to transition into that. I I hope that I caught that. This is oh, I got it. Dungeon of the Mag Mage. Is this still the Dungeon old of one? The Mag Mage. That doesn't make any sense. I literally changed these. That says Dungeon of the Mag Mage too. They both do. Yeah. Man, those are good transitions. Let me uh, let me pop over to the editor and see I if I can do this live real quick. Those are solid. Wop. It's too late to apologize. This is what we get when we do things. Didn't we test this, Jay? We did this yesterday, and we fixed it. Correct. What happened? Did you though? I don't know. Well, I mean, we thought we did. Obviously, we did not. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> so let's do. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to learn how to spell. There it went. There, delete this one. Move. And that for spelling. Let's flip over this man. one. I was with Magma. That's that one. And I I may have given you the go. template with that typo in there. Uh, you totally did. Thank you very much. Old how's habits. how's that for spelling? I, I feel like you should have done some editing. Why are we swapped? We're mirrored. <laughs> right hand. Oh, I don't know. Left hand. Just how you guys are right in. Hand. That's how you are in Discord. Right hand. Still right hand. You looking for something? Oh, that's mirrored for me, even. Yeah. All right. It's not. It's not mirrored for me. That's. This is left definitely hand. Mirrored for me. Right hand. It is. It's not mirrored for Jay. It's mirrored for everyone else, though. Not Jacob either. It's mirrored for me and Mitch. No, not Mitch now too. Me and Jeremy. Left. Hand. It is mirrored for Jeremy. That's your left hand. This is my right hand. Left hand, right hand. It's it's only mirrored for me and Jeremy. Yeah. I mean, that's probably just the settings on your camera. On your webcam. It, it's not mirrored in my Discord. Oh, it's not? Wait, wait. You're, your you're not mirrored in my Discord. Is your cat to your left or to your right? Yeah, no right. one is mirrored cat is on my Discord. to my, my Discord. right, right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, me wait. and you are literally opposite over there. Uh, up there, like... All right. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I feel like we're getting... Well, the thing is... You're... Whatever. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's play Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to, uh, welcome to our first session of Dungeon the Mad Mage, uh, where we sit for 10 minutes <laughs> and talk about uh, typos and whether or not we're mirrored on camera and shit. <laughs> so, Yay, technology. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun time. So... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm recording this. We're streaming. Who gives a fuck? Let's play some uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So let's. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna stay on this one for a little bit, um, and we're going to start. I apologize. This is not normally something I do a whole lot of in Dungeons and Dragons, but we're gonna start start with a little bit of exposition, kind of just to set the scene and get us going where we need to be. So. Let's do a thing. Mm. I love this music. All right, boys. One by one, you find yourselves brought to Pyrgaron's palace, the Palace of Waterdeep, a white marble, unblemished symbol of the Lord's rule. Your arrival sees no fanfare, nor are you secreted in through some darkened back door. Your coach merely arrives, skirting the deathly field around Agaron's tower, and you are lit in. Some minutes later, you each find yourselves being led through the long, echoing halls, filled with workers of the city services, ambassadors, the watch, and the guard. For now, you pass through without all eyes focused upon you. For this moment, not the subject of curiosity, praise, or ridicule. Unknown. 
and then you find yourselves standing side by side, a row of strange acquaintances looking up at a modest throne upon which sits the Lady Mage of Waterdeep herself. Lairall Silverhand. Silver braided crown of hair and white with gold trimmed flowing robes. Beautiful and regal. And though she has lived many lifetimes, you cannot tell as you gaze upon her. Flanking her on her right, done up in a black leather riding suit, complete with crop in hand and a jeweled black ruff around her neck, stands Vajra Safar, the seventh black staff of Waterdeep. Her slight stature and young age do nothing to diminish her presence within this hall of living legends, for she is one herself. To the left of Lairall stands an odd sight, an old half-elf dressed as a groundskeeper standing behind a small inn table upon which a potted fern sits, though it does not do so idly. The fern writhes and thrashes as if feeling about itself. Small roots continuously sprout and rise over the lip of the ceramic pot, almost as if the thing plans to walk away. Though when this happens, the aged half-elf steps forward and tugs the roots back into the pot where they belong. Melanor Fellbranch, the half-elf, introduces himself and his mistress, Jareth Falcon. And last, standing off to the side as though slightly embarrassed or confused to be here, is the foppish, rotund rogue, Mert the Moneylender. The deep blue and crimson of his coat rich but worn with time, much like the flowing mustache or laugh lines across his face. And though he seems like he would rather be elsewhere, there is an ease and grace about his stance, and a cold, calculated cunning in his eye. As these great figures stare back at you, some of them know you, and some of you know some of them, but they ask that you introduce yourselves formally. And we're gonna take this a step further out of game. So can I get each of you to give me your actual name, your character name, and then a brief description of your character. We're gonna go from uh, top left down and then over and down. So we'll start off with Jay. Hello. My name is Jay. I am playing Ashes, the tiefling, uh, who is a, about 6'8", uh, very broad-shouldered, sh and is a trained uh, blood hunter. I don't know about trained. Trained. <laughs> Start, off strong. Start off strong, boys. Um, Zach, take us off. My name is Zach. My character is Shade in the Graveyard, aka Bones. He's a male tabaxi, lion. Um, he likes to rogue around as a scout by trade, uh, work in the wilds. And um, he's here because a stone told him it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... you're, you're not wrong. All right, uh, Jake. I'm Jake. I'm playing Ezra Rothanel, a half-elf with golden skin uh, that is modeled with uh, bleached white streaks across his entire body. Um, he is a student of knowledge uh, by trade, but uh, inherited some uh, um, tempestuous magics. <laughs> yeah but uh so he is he is a sorcerer awesome that likes to think he's smart mitch <laughs> i'm mitch i am playing matash uh matt to his friends uh he is a clash tar kensei monk um he is tallish six one uh very dark skinned uh brown hair brown eyes uh, he wears a white vest and white 
billowing pants with a massive spear strapped across his back. Fantastic. I am Jeremy Rose, your dungeon master for this evening, and hopefully a bunch more. Uh, I think a bunch more. We've already been playing for like three years together. This is just, you know, the start of something new. So hopefully this doesn't make you all hate me and quit. So <laughs> let's uh, let's keep things going. This is this is going to be the breaking point. It's going to be. I yeah, this is the straw that broke the not the camel's back, play, but I'll... the world. The dragon's back. <laughs> the world. It's going to break the world. Yeah. Jesus. Hey, look, <laughs> I don't do things small. No, nah, that's all I do. I do. <laughs> all right. Um, after you all introduce yourselves, Laral stands and begins to speak. Where Waterdeep stands today, there once stood Aelin Thaldar, the capital city of the ancient elven kingdom of Ilifar. When the elves left, they used a powerful spell to erase all traces of their capital. Common practice for the elves of old. There's a snort of derision from Vajra. Common practice in this instance means dangerous and stupid. You see a flash of anger in Laryl's eyes, but she does not disagree. Vajra continues, This spell had the unintended side effect of creating a permanent knot in the weave, um, the fabric through which all magic is channeled. This knot lies deep underground, and it isn't something that can be seen or felt or undone but it can have tangible effects on the world around it it can exert a sort of will cause madness to bloom in the minds of mortal beings you begin to hear a howling in your minds like a great wind rising you see Laryl, Vajra and Mert wince and then telepathically you hear the knots permeate Sunder Mountain and the madness it causes manifests as an obsession with the dungeon those affected by the knot in the weave exhibit a subconscious desire to remain in or near the dungeon but why its current master, Halaster Black Cloak, and several of his apprentices fell prey to this obsession, as did the Malerkin Dwarves and others. Mert sighs heavily and suddenly looks as if there is a great weight upon his shoulders miles um it's a uh, true darnin um the proprietor of the yawning portal and i are um, um good examples of this foul magic though we are not the only ones many have been touched by that's that dungeon's shadow and many more since the events of this past high harvest tide M but not all creatures that dwell within undermountain uh, succumb to the madness and and those who do aren't even aware that the dungeon has them in its clutches it is um an insidious thing Laryl steps forward and kind of puts her hand out Yes, it is ancient, and it is evil, and it must be dealt with. You are not the first team to have been sent into Undermountain for this purpose, but I aim for you to be the last. Previously, we'd sent people off with missions like destroy Halaster Blackcloak, or sever the snarl from this plane. We no longer believe those to be practical goals. Laryl turns to Vajra and nods. Vajra picks up this train of thought. The priests have had a premonition. They speak of shadow and death. You hear a clearing of a throat. 
and the aged half-elf begins to speak. Um, actually, it's shade and dying, my lady. I'm sorry, but there is a difference. The, the druids have had the same premonition. Shade and dying and the younger years, love and betrayal and the power of fear. The seven rise anew and newly arise to find the bard plays and the dead god dances. Shade and dying and the wheel turns again. There's a moment of silence that falls across the room before Mert speaks again. Um, do not uh, misunderstand us, friends. Uh, this is no simple task we ask of you, but it is one of great import. You see, sweat begins to glisten across his brow as if what he's saying pains him. Something moves in the shadow below. Delve under mountain, I'm the source of the shadow, and do what you must make certain it never reaches the surface of our world. Weak, like mewling pups, that voice in your minds again like a great gale. Burn them out, flood the halls, shake the ground around them, and send them tumbling into the darkness below. Enough! Laryl's voice echoes throughout the chamber, and silence falls as she glares at this writhing fern. Vajra steps forward, and the sudden movement breaks the tension. Uh, simple tasks first, yes? Um, uh, uh, ashes. We've heard rumors that a, um, a coterie of vampires have taken up residence in the northern half of the first level of Undermountain. Uh, this uh, seems unlikely, and we suspect something is afoot. But considering your particular talents, I, I think this would be a good first reason to delve into the dungeon. Yes, ma'am. Mert speaks. Um, take your time, friends. Get to know one another. Uh, this will be a long and perilous task. Uh, Ezra, Bones, um, I understand Aster and Tulip have, uh, left the city, yes? Um, perhaps it's best if, uh, Ashes and Matashtai join you at Trollskull. I, I, I fear... Please, just Matt. Uh, of course. I fear once you start on this task, you you will draw more and more attention to yourselves. It it may become dangerous for you to be alone. It's certainly. We, we have plenty of room. It, it, you guys are more than welcome to stay. Have, have, you, have you been? Uh, well, uh, uh, Ashes, I, I, I've met you before. You, you know where it is. Uh, Matt? Uh, uh, yes. I, I, have, I, have you ever been to Lifted Spirits or the manor with the, uh, with which it resides? Trollskull Manor? I have never heard of it. Ooh. I'm sure <laughs> it's great, though. <laughs> Low burn. Well, 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 we'll, we'll definitely uh, uh, introduce you to the staff so that they get uh, acquainted and, and uh, we'll, we'll find you guys both a, a place to call your own. Uh, Laryl sits uh, during this conversation, and you see for a brief moment the wear of time and the pressure of fate that sits upon her. She, she just sighs and says, in Enough. They are capable individuals. That is why we are setting them about this task. Go. Delve the Undermountain. Face Halaster's madness. Seek the source of the shade. Return to us with what you find. Be mindful. The mountain will not be idle. 
the snarl knows eyes will be upon you. See the writhing fern? Go still. And then in a moment, it withers and dies. And then Mert oh dear. ushers you out. And as you all walk together back through Pier Garon's palace, past its many eyes, you are now the subject of curiosity. No longer unknown. Hi. <laughs> A large carriage is set to take the four of you to Troll Skull Alley. And as you pass through the city on this night, you find it filled with small gatherings, celebrating saloons hallowing, candlelit vigils, and quiet ceremony. More than a month after the madness of high harvest tide, the city lies calm. No worries of the darkness below it. Is there anything you all want to do? Um, I've been kind of like expositing through this is there anything you guys want to do uh especially to ezra and bones welcoming uh ashes and matashtai into the lifted spirits into the uh, can we Manor? assume that we stop by uh uh yeah Johnny portal to grab my stuff um well so like uh yeah i'm gonna need my stuff as well yeah you you guys can uh uh you can that be been in route two, chauffeured so. throughout the city to uh, to claim any belongings or stop at any locations that you need to. Um, actually, the uh, at least three of you, Ezra Bones and Ashes, recognize the driver of this uh, carriage. Um, oh, is that the one that Tulip kept messing with? <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. So <laughs> Completely different individual. Uh, oh. This is, uh, you recognize this as Hastaris, the odd elven steward of the Blackstaff's Tower. Oh. Oh, the one that was at the desk all the, the time? The one, yeah. yeah. Well, he didn't have a desk. Oh, he was just always standing, kind of like at the foyer, just oh, as you creepier. came in. The, yeah. the, the one that, creepier. you know, yeah. seemed mad, you know, yeah, is now mad. driving our cart. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> yep. definitely yeah. safe. That's Perfect. awesome. I'm not worried at all. It happens. No big deal. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well, um, on the ride over, Matt is just bombarding the three of them with questions. Just... Who are you? Where are you from? What was your life like? What are your parents like? Oh, jeez. Who's your best friend? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, we can we can uh, sit and role play a little bit um, on the carriage ride if you guys would like to do that. That's perfectly fine. Um, or we can uh, we can hand wave and say you guys become a little bit acclimated at least. You know, get to the first name basis acquaintance scenario. Um, and then we can uh, talk about more things as they come out in play. It's up to you. What do y'all want to do? We can just move along. Okay. Move along. Move along. Yeah. Move along. So you guys, so you guys uh, visit visit the yawning portal where Ashes um, currently has uh, a room and is staying, and then you head by one of the smaller temples to Kelimvor, I believe, is where Matashtai is currently staying. Um, pick up uh, any belongings that you might have there. Um, and then you make your way to the North Ward, to Troll Skull Manor, where Ezra and Bones can show Ashes and Matashtai around, and you guys can slowly but surely get acclimated. Um, I would introduce them to the, to staff. the staff. Yeah, I, I would. I would not necessarily give the full scoop on Lyft just to. <laughs> See if uh, there's a reaction. Dude, I think Ashes has actually been back. Yeah. Right. So Ashes has seen yeah. Lyft. Um, yeah. But does Matashta have any any particular reaction to a ghost Spectre bartender? bartender? Um, he would honestly start trying to talk to it. Uh, um, it it because as a Kalashtar, it, yeah. he's very comfortable with spirits. He because, has a chalkboard to write yeah, on. Legitimately, like it, he, <laughs> he communicates to you via chalkboard. Um, he's not he's not a chatty Kathy, right? So he doesn't just sit and have a full on conversation with you, but he does answer questions and 
occasionally poke at things. It's more of a one-sided conversation. Um, anyone sitting nearby uh, might overhear Matt saying, Valena, try talking to him. See if you can... Try. Go on. But it's and... just a weird no-response situation. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Leonard, did you say? Valena. Well, well, Leonard. <laughs> Why can Leonard. it not be Leonard? <laughs> oh my goodness! I want your I want your doctor. spirit duality to be Leonard. I think we should just go. Let's just go. You know, there's no night in the dungeon. Let's just go. Yeah, let's um, go. That sounds awesome. Well, I've been waiting weeks. You, yeah, I haven't um, done anything if, all if, today. If let's you, go. If you show ashes to like a room he's going to be staying in, um, he'll be in the process of dumping out. A lot of shit out of his backpack. You'd be setting up this very elaborate alchemy station. Yeah. And start. I so I would have shown you around, and you would have seen the startings of one set up in the study. In the mm -hmm. study, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Ezra. So, so if you're if you're watching at all while he goes about this, um, he starts to set up this behemoth amalgamation of it looks like four alchemy sets, like pieced and mounted and like fused mounted. together it's it's crazy weird and it could never like travel comfortably or mm -hmm. or probably if you bump the thing once it's gonna turn into like a, a meth lab explosion <laughs> like I, I, I am immediately drawn to it and start asking about all the stuff that I don't understand that I see in the game cool um, well um the, the, in the order, we're taught uh, some a, a bit of alchemy, so we know how to uh, take care of ourselves out on the field. So uh, I yeah. just picked it up as uh, another hobby of mine. I, I'm oh. looking to. Well, maybe I can show you a th few things. The only problem is uh, I can't actually get anything going right now because we're about to go into a dungeon. I won't be here to. Oh yeah, that, that that makes perfect sense. I look forward to it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I plan to I plan to make us some stuff. Cool. All right. So you guys wanna you you no no sleeping for the night, no rest for the wicked. You just wanna head off. I mean, I um, think we should have a rest. If we're all <laughs> down in the today. the main area of the tavern, it, um, Matt it's... just kind of pats the pouch on his hip and says, "I've got everything we need." Let's go. Strictly, strictly, just talking about this, mechanically, this is going to make no difference whatsoever. You all are, are long rested. You're perfectly fine to go. It's just a RP flavor, whether you want to head out tonight and get the get the job started or, or whether you just want to wait for the morning. As Ezra would just want to acclimate himself with the new members. With the new members. <laughs> I, you know, let's jump into no. a fight and learn what you do. Just, you know, you as it goes. Uh, to basic the best way to learn dungeon about someone in, is in the hate Dungeons of Dragons. So let's do it. I, I am with a toothpick, shade, so... What is it? Shade in the what? Bones? They call me bo Bones. They call me Bones. Okay. That's you just And I go to shake many, hand. many tabaxis, have you? Well, we... I've seen a few. Um... They're not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're terribly common. Yeah, and I don't, I, you probably, you've probably seen a couple of tabaxi, yeah, where you're from, Adar. Um, but I, I would probably say Bones' uh, breed, whatever, is uh, unique, is a little distinctive, right? I don't think you've ever seen a Leonin. Is the lion? Yeah, basically. Wow. Wow, wow. Um, and he he's dressed interestingly, right? I mean, he has normal kind of kind of like clothing on, but it's um, it's beaded and laced oh, with bones and up. things like that. Like, um, don't you have like little oh, fetishes know. about on you and things like that? Like yeah, little chunks like of bone here or there. Uh, yeah. Oh, you put the headband goes stuff on. I've killed. Yeah. It's headband so it, time. He's it's very like uh, um tribal <laughs> warrior meets uh meets cultured Such living scenario head, right because he's in he's in regular clothes right he's not in tribal garb but he's got like these odd additions here or there are those victory tokens are those things you've defeated yeah everyone's from something i killed 
One of my friends back on Eberron does something similar. Really? What? What's Eberron? I, I haven't oh, heard of that place. You haven't heard of Eberron? No, no and I, I know uh, quite a bit about what's around us. I'd be glad to hear this too, because I never got to ask you about it when we met at the tavern. Well, uh, Eberron is a world similar to this, um, but different. I would say, um, I have found we have a bit more technology than you because Be calling y'all dumb. <laughs> Wait, you're from a, a different world. I am. Uh, I traveled here by your ship. Wait, yeah. you were serious about that? I was. <laughs> are, I just thought you... you were some. I thought you were just drunk as shit, dude. You came up to the table with, like, four pints of ale. Well, you were supposed to By the way, did you finish all of that? that? Of course I finished. I always finish what I start. You feeling all right? Like... I'm fine. I could fight and pull this spear off and starts twirling it around. <laughs> uh, this spear uh, looks odd. Right. Um, for the most part, it seems um, a regular spear, spear, but the end of it um, is almost like a. It almost like has a lead lodestone um, where the head would be, um, and then it has this broad, fine, flat um, blade. It looks extremely poorly balanced. Like it looks extremely top heavy. <clears throat> um, goes through a quick routine and then just <laughs> the the steward uh Cine is it um can you not in the bar pl- we there's patrons around oh. and just try to keep up oh Sorry. sirs uh Th- thank you thank you Cine. and he, he he actually like looks at you um ezra and he's like I totally saw that, by the way. <laughs> have a have a pleasant evening, sirs. He's probably he, like, more perceptive goes about his, than I am. His business. <laughs> <laughs> so you really are from another planet. I am. Uh, like I s- think I began to tell you the other night. Oh, I got a little bit fuzzy there at the end. Um, I came to Eberron uh, with a couple of fellow Hearthguard. Um, you, 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 you I was on a pilgrimage. Eberron? What, sorry? You, you came from Eberron, right? I came from Eberron, oh, yes. Okay. I thought you were calling this Eberron, and I was a little confused. Well, hey, no. where are your friends staying? They didn't survive the journey. Um, when we were close to actually the city here um we were attacked by another ship um i'd say close we weren't actually on faerun yet but we were attacked by a we were like ship entering of the atmosphere this <laughs> yankee um I'm, I'm sorry i didn't i didn't know hey you we fought well the Gith yankee we did. And survived. And, wow. I have only read some of them. Not so great stories. Just I survived. Um, I managed to fight my way to one of the escape pods because they damaged our ship and it was beginning to break apart. And um, my shuttle uh, managed to crash into the harbor here. But as far as I know, no one else made it. There were no other shuttles. So why why were you coming from another world? Um, I'm on a pilgrimage. Um, I've been tasked on a sacred quest of the Hearthguard, uh, which is the order that I'm with. 
to become a chosen of Boldre. Um, to do so, I have to find and acquire um, multiple artifacts of our order. And in doing so, gain power and skill beyond what a normal person can. Where are these artifacts that you're looking for? Um, the order uses many different locations, um, but one of them, and the one they chose this time, is the Undermountain. Coincidence. You should so, have a, a dragon radar, like from Dragon Ball Z, where you can just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, <Yeah>. and no, <laughs> Matt <laughs> thumps his haft down first onto the floor, and he says, "This will guide me where I need to go." Uh, no. <laughs> and uh, which way is it pointing? <laughs> like. Does it, does it like weather vane or <laughs> Matt actually actually called it and just oh, I don't oh know. Like, like it's like divining rod but and then he sets it down and I'm just kidding it doesn't do that but it pulls me in a way it guides me the lodestone <clears throat> has a slight tug on it towards uh, towards your intended destination all right, well, while this conversation is going on, uh, you'll see Ashes throw a longsword on his back, uh, a dagger at his hip, a hunting trap on the back of his belt, uh, uh, like a, like a, a sledgehammer, a grappling hook, just, just, just suiting the fuck up. Incoming 50,000 things, got it. <laughs> yep. Ezra grabs a... Uh, a scepter almost and it's got a little metallic bird that's just flitting around the top of it <laughs> Matt oh, walks that's, over that's, that's, that's good it? I, uh, it, be gentle please it, it, it is very uh, <laughs> yeah, hold yeah. up y'all you're killing me <laughs> it's just touch it just want to just, touch it just, you just it's gotta really be soft. gentle just touch the tip <laughs> <laughs> You know, all right. Down. So, is there anything else uh, you guys want to do as far as introductions Should've go? Have hand. you decided whether or not you want to, to head out this right. night, <laughs> this evening, or um, in the morning, or what? I think we should go now. I've done nothing all day. Bones, I like his enthusiasm. I think we should go. Heroes are people of action. Uh, uh, uh okay. Cine says. Oh, yes. People of action, you should go. Good luck, sirs. That man knows what we're doing. We should listen to him. That's the most reasonable I've seen him since I came here. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> okay. Well, after strapping some more crap on him, uh, Ashes will stand up and start heading for the, uh, the doorway. You guys coming? Matt jogs over. I'm ready to go. All right. Uh, you guys walk back outside, and that carriage, uh, the one that brought you here, is still there. It has not gone anywhere. Um, and it's seemingly waiting upon you. Um, to... Does the driver have any wits about him? Does he seem any different than he did when he was in Blackstaff Tower? He responds to you if you speak to him. As as uh, cryptic as he did before? Yes. <laughs> I would immediately stop talking to him. Very about. just like one word answers, just this kind of like far away glassy eyed look the majority of the time. Very slow in his movements, like when he turns his head to you. Yeah. That's not just. Uh, I've worked at, at the Black Stuff for a while. Uh, he he's He's always like that. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I've I've been been to that tower a couple yeah. times, and uh, he's one one of our uh, other party members. Like to uh, um, encourage. That's a word so, for it. I'm sure it caught. A, I'm sure that went somewhere. It, it, he it, sounds it, like a wonderful individual. Oh, he, he was entertaining to say the least. Had that one out. All right, <laughs> so you guys head. Sounds like he was a shitty bard. Um, into Ooh. the. 
into the carriage and make your way across the city to the yawning portal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my quintessential yawning portal music because I love this music. Um, and let's give you guys a handout. Hey Mitch, how sad are you gonna be? How sad are you gonna be if we move to the to the yawning portal and it doesn't have your labels? Boom. Uh, it's we're not I using will cry. that one right now. We're gonna, no. we're gonna use this. I might import that from our Dragon Heist game at a later date, but I'm not doing it right now. So for right There's now, so much uh, work into wait, it. Wait, is that who I think it is? That that is who you think it is. Oh hell yeah! Yep. Um. Back okay. Again. <laughs> They've <Please>. never left. <laughs> ah, they were but the big bads all along. What's that? Okay. Wait, like, Damn it, Squidly. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so you guys make your way uh, down to the Yawning Portal. It's uh, well into the evening, right? Uh, the city itself is pretty quiet and calm on Saloon's Howling, um, but the major, uh, the major rituals and festivals um, that go along with the event have already kind of passed. There's still families and groups doing vigils and things like that um but many people are just at the bar having a good time um as you make your way in you're greeted uh many of you are greeted by Durnan, the barkeep um as well as body bonnie who's kind of the uh head waitress or one of the the main um servers in the yawning portal um always there when you need her always ready to to help you out with something um, and you find the group of you find yourselves talking to or approached by a variety of different individuals um, as you go about this whole process of uh, getting ready to go into Undermountain. Um, the first person that you meet um, is actually... Someone that at least three of you already know pretty well, I believe. Um, and that is Obaya Uday, a cleric of Joaquin that uh, approaches you, Ezra and Bones, um, and then Ashes, when she notices you're, uh, you're with this group, she uh, calls out to you as well. Um, and she... She sees, right, what you all, you, the conversation that you're having with Durnan, and uh, clearly, like, it, it's it's obvious that you're kind of, like, making the motions of, uh, there's a, almost like a ritual of going down into Undermountain, right? People show up, they talk to Durnan for a while, conversations are had about the bar, people start making bets and, you know, <laughs> things like that on, on whether or not you're going to come back, or if you do, if other people aren't going to be there, etc., right? Um, so it, it it's an interesting situation. Uh, Obaya, seeing that this is going on, approaches you and she says, "Oh, he hello, friends. Um, so you are finally taking the plunge. You you head into the mountain now, yes? That, that, that yes, is the plan. Yes, uh, immediately. Post haste. Very, very exciting. Um, I, I I wonder if you have uh, just a moment to talk to me." Um, before you head down. Sure, we, definitely. Oh, great, great, great. And she, she invites you over to her, her table where she's always at, right? Um, and oh, she have, has a... Have, have you met Matt? He's, he's, uh... Oh, I, I have not. A uh, I friend of ours. don't believe we've met. It's a, it's a pleasure, young sir. Uh, you have a, a interesting look about you. Almost a, a, a fey touch or something. Um... You have an interesting talk about you. Well, thank you, thank you. Is um, a, a I hail from Chult. Have you been? I have not. Uh, I haven't left Waterdeep since I've gotten here. Oh well, we must risk that eventually. But uh, for now, you have a you have a journey and great adventure ahead of you. I'm sure. Yes. Uh, and about that, my my patron. Um, one uh, uh, Wakanga Otamu um, has me here on a bit of a venture for him. You see, uh, he is a, a bit of a collector of uh, 
magical items. Um, and he has uh, given me a, a quite a chest with which to uh, purchase um, anything uh, aspiring adventurers like yourselves uh, find themselves uh, not wanting to hold on to. So, uh, just a friendly offer if you find something within the dungeon uh, that you have no need of or wish to uh, part with. Uh, seek me out, yes? I will, um, I will pay you handsomely. Oh, with none of the normal questions that come with uh, <laughs> some of the, um, what is the word? Um, the auctioneers. Uh, at some of the guild houses, you say? I like your gumption, miss. Uh, so just as a heads up, right? Uh, she will let you know what her prices are. She will pay uh, 10 platinum for a common magic item, 50 platinum for an uncommon magic item, 500 platinum for a rare magic item, and 5,000 platinum for a very rare magic item. She wow. will buy consumables at half that price, right? For, uh, for the consumables, basically. Okay. Um, so like, like if you were to try to sell her a healing potion, she'll buy it at fifty gold a pop, the same price you buy it for, etc. Right. Um. So there's that, and then she will also buy uh spell books. Um, based off of the or spell scrolls as well based off of the level of the spell so if it's a spell scroll it's based off this that single scroll if it's a spell book it's based off of whatever the highest level spell in the book is so it's not quantified by the content no it's not it's not the entirety of the book it's just whatever the highest level spell is is that's that's the basis mm -hmm. cool well that's so ominous your, your patron your god no, 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 no. My patron is a uh, a, a wizard. Um, one of the lords of Cholt. Oh, okay. Of, uh, not Cholt, of, uh, of Port Nianzaru in Cholt. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, Wakonga is a, uh, a powerful wizard and, uh, just interested in collecting various artifacts. Wakonga? Yeah, that's his name. Wakonga Otamu. Sure. <laughs> forever. Does he keep his technology hidden from others? <laughs> Not Wakanda, it's Wakonga. I know, I'm drawing parallels. That's what I said. <laughs> you, you can parallel all you want. Anyways, um, so uh, after this, or probably a little during this, right? Um, you all are approached. Specifically, um, Ezra is approached by... A familiar figure um the kind of down on his luck bard uh matram merig or better known as three strings um which at this point uh ezra you know to be an undercover agent for the harpers mm -hmm. um within and his his kind of post his thing is to be the down on his luck bard in the yawning portal just to gather information as well. but he will kind of approach you and very on the sly like just talk about um so friends uh, you're uh you're heading down right yeah uh i have a bit of a uh an errand a favor i'd ask of you if you uh if you have the time yeah. what do you need your strings uh, we're really popular tonight almost like you're getting all the quests <laughs> he'll it's say uh, like he'll say a, a simple task really um there was a um, well there's a drow a half drow actually um in skullport that well she offered aid to one of our agents she she hid them um in a time of need um and needs to be paid for her services rewarded really for uh, what she has done for us um her name is kalal kladani uh she runs the tavern or one of the taverns in skullport uh, it's the flagon and the dragon 
Um, all I need is if you find yourself in Skullport, and he kind of like reaches a hand into uh, into his jacket and pulls out a little um, purse, like a little sack, and he clinks it a little bit. Um, and you can tell there's like uh, gems or something like that inside. Yeah. It's not coin. Um, and he just kind of like hands it over to you. Um, okay. it, it's uh, small. Okay. And he just says, uh, if you could just give these to her as, uh, like I said, reward. And he, he, you know, that will uh, that will go a long way to smooth relations in Skullport. What, what was her name again? Kalal? Uh, Kalal Kladani. I'll give you a little copy pasta. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. I am not even about to try to spell that. Hello, flying, bro. Kladani. Oh, definitely, definitely was all K's. Is yeah. that a place inside of the Under Mountain? In Skullport. Skullport in is Skullport, yeah. Under Mountain adjacent. I guess is the way to say it. It's down below, but it's not in the dungeon of Under Mountain. I see. Yeah. Jeremy, there's not enough H's in this name. I, but I, that's because I didn't make it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Matram will tell you, uh, he'll say, once you, once you drop this off, right, um, if you have need of safe harbor, uh, we have a hideout in Skullport, uh, called Dalagor's Fortress. It's, uh, on the uppermost level of the, uh, town. It... There's a dragonborn there named Felrax. He guards the place. If you tell him I sent you, you should be able to find rest there. You said uh, that's on the north side of Skullport? Or the upper side of Skullport? Uh, it's the uppermost level of Skullport. He'll tell you real quick, like, uh, 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 Skullport's broken into levels. It has, like, a low, mid, and high, uh, top level. And it's just, uh, it's basically, like, um, it's built on top of it itself. Because it's, it's in a cavern. It's in this great big cavern. They just built upwards. So there's three levels. And it's just on the uppermost level. He doesn't give you, like, a specific thing. You'd probably have to ask around while you're in Skullport. But he just gives you yeah. kind of the generic... Um, uh, Matt looks around to the group and says, "Where's Skullport?" Mm. Um, uh, Under Mountain adjacent. Matram will tell you. Um, it, it's uh, mm, it's the best. It's hard to. It, there's a river. No, mm, oh, there's a river on. I think it's level three of the dungeon. Um, and that you can follow into. Uh, it lets out into where Skullport is. There are other ways oh. to get into Skullport. It's just, since you're already going down into the dungeon, I figured you're probably likely to stop by there eventually. It's no rush or anything like that. Just, uh, you know, looking looking out for a friend, making sure uh, relations are smoothed over and, and go well. And he, he's just, he kind of like, he's, he always smiles too much, right? He, he continuously just smiles and says, yeah, 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 that's, that's it. Thanks. I mean, uh, I, I, I wish I had more to like really reward you for, but I, I mean, uh, you know, uh, safe, safe passage can be a pretty important thing, uh, Skullport, and, uh, you know. I think it's fine. A good deed begets a good deed. You hear, <laughs> Matt, you hear, uh, did I hear something about a good deed? <laughs> and uh, you look over your shoulder and you see a young noblewoman with a uh, kind of a deep mocha skin, right? Um, and she is dressed in finery right obviously like like you peg her as a noble immediately right just from what she's wearing but she's wearing something more fit for like a evening soiree that would be in her class type scenario right it's it's revealing it's meant to be 
uh, seductive. Um, and she she just like looks at you with these alluring eyes, right? And she says, "If you're in the uh, you're in the trade of good deeds, perhaps you and I can chat." My name is Esvale Rosna. Fuck these names. <laughs> Esvale Wasawa? I copy pasta you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, and she she makes it quick. So so if you're willing to talk to her, she doesn't make a big shebang about it. She basically says, um, my brother recently um, went to... Well, truth be told, I believe he went to Fullport. More specifically, I believe he was, uh... I believe he was attempting to arrange a meeting with members of the Xanathar Guild. And my brother's a bit of an idiot. So, really, I'm just trying to locate him. Just trying to see if I can't, uh... Get him out of whatever hot water he's gotten himself in. We would be happy to help. What is your brother's name? My brother's name is Ucrisando. And she will say Um she actually she'll hold up her hand and you see a signet ring, right? Um she'll say, uh he should be wearing one of these. Help you I because she gives you like a basic uh uh um description a 22 year old man fair skin dark curly hair um kind of like uh, a roguish individual right um but she shows you this platinum signet ring um and there is it has the rosnar family crest on it it's a diving white falcon on a field of blue right and there's an inscription on it that has their family motto, and it says, Fly high and stoop swift. So uh, I'll just, um, don't worry about it. I'll copy pasta. If you don't mind, uh, Matt pulls out a piece of parchment, painter's brush, a little bit of ink. Um, might I take a painting of it quick? I'm like, sure. And and so you see you see her, like she splays her hand out right like like modeling the, the more the that hand the whole than hand the, as ring, well as the ring right uh, but yeah so she she goes about that and she she this whole conversation um, reeks of flattery and charm right as you're kind of putting on the finishing touches of this uh, this sketch painting thing right. Um, in a low tone, she actually says, I really do appreciate that, honestly. It'd be a bit difficult trying to get real help in a situation like this. And if you are able to find or bring my brother back, back to me, or at least provide me with the whereabouts, well... House Rosnar will be in your debt. That is no simple matter. Well, I am willing to just help for the sake of helping. So. She smiles at you and she just says, Oh, you haven't been in the city long, have you? I am pretty new. <laughs> we'll fix that <laughs> naivete. Don't worry about that. You know she's fancy how she pronounced it. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so so wrapping that up, right? Wrapping that up, there is one final stop that we make. And it is a loud and boisterous individual that uh, at least three of you know, probably all of you have heard of. And he's, he shouts out when he finally catches eye of you. He comes into the yawning portal and he goes, Ah! Oh, friends! Friends! Oh, hello. And you see this short, mustachioed individual rush across <clears throat> the yawning portal to greet you. It is your friend, Polothamp. Get arm. Hey, my friend. 
<laughs> well, you know him, Ashes, because he's just such a, a regular patron of the Yawning Portal. Um, and you yourself are, at this point, a fairly regular patron of the Yawning Portal. Um, and then Bones and Ezra both know him directly. I'm not sure if Matashtai has met him uh, or not, but... Uh, so Volo, mm. Volo is uh, more than willing to be friends with just about anyone. So Volo uh, comes to you all and he, he offers a round of drinks before you head down into the uh, the Yawning Portal or into the uh, Undermountain. And he uh, asks um, if he can tell you a tell. If it's a quick one, I'm bored, Volo. Oh my god, Zach. Yes, I know you want to get into the dungeon and kill things. We'll be right back. I feel like you really want to tell the story. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Bones is bored. Okay, I got you. I feel you. All right, I'm not bored. Okay. All right. This story dates to the fall of Ilifarn, the elven kingdom of the north, an an alabaster throne belonging to Silgeth Aldark, the last Coronal of Ilifarn. It, it, it disappeared from the capital city of Aelin Thaldar, where the mad mage built his tower, and we stand today. It's said that a group of dwarves feared the destruction of such a miraculous work of stonecraft, and they stole the throne right out from underneath the elves' slender noses. Where the dwarves hid it for so long, who knows? But should you find the alabaster throne of the last coronal, it would please the elves of the north greatly to know it survives. And, well, my friends, I just so happen to be very good friends and acquaintances with the embassy here in Waterdeep. So, should you find trail or story or better yet the actual thing bring me that knowledge and my friends the elves will be most grateful we'd be happy to help (laughs) just check (laughs) check box check box check box Mm -hmm. (laughs) mm-hmm No, but uh, <laughs> Matt listens just enraptured to the entire tale, just first right. of all. Um, but then he sits up. That sounds like a worthy cause, and I would be happy to help you find this stone? What was it again? Alabaster. It is an alabaster alabaster, uh, alabaster throne of the last Oh, throne. Coronal. Got it. Like a whole chair. Yeah, he's not asking you to bring it back. He's asking you to find it. <laughs> Good, because I wasn't gonna carry back yeah. the chair. No, no, he's he's like he's like you find it, you tell me where it is, and I'll let the elves know, and they'll be real happy. That type of thing. And Bolo what, what think, are the like, elves that want to know again? The elves of the north. It's just the oh. it, It's not a specific like uh, uh, city or anything like that. It's just the general. Um, the northern lands, technically the Sword Coast, is all the northern lands for the most part. Waterdeep and uh, Baldur's Gate are tipping towards the equator, I think. Well, not really. It's like Callum Shan and Cholt. Hmm. Perfect. So, cool. Yep. But, and and, and Volothamp is uh what are is we getting to this Volo? a much better storyteller. Uh he he says, "Oh, well, I I don't know uh, anything off the top of my head, but I can assure you the elves will be most gracious. Uh, they will they will shower uh, us with gifts. No doubt. No doubt." Mm, us us guys, us. Oh, wait, no, 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 just you. You. I, I I by proxy, I am I am merely uh I am a, a mouthpiece. For, for your endeavors. Mm. Well, great. And uh, Ash just turns around and starts walking towards the Yawning Portal. Yep. Yeah, so the... Within the Yawning the, Portal. Yeah, the titular Yawning Portal in the center of the Yawning Portal. Um, Durnan, seeing you approach, he goes, ah, finally going down. 
Oh, hey, the Bla Blackstaff told me there's some things down there that need to be taken care of. I'm gonna oh. take care of them. He looks at you and he has he has this kind of like glint in his eye and he says, "There's a lot down there to take care of. Be mindful you don't get yourself in over your head. Be smart. Take breaks. See the dungeon. Visit it." like a vacation. You don't stay forever. Come on back up after a day or two. Get your feet back about you. Stay Go right. back down. Then come yeah. up again. Then go back down. And he says, <laughs> he he says Matt, he, he, Matt walks he up points. and puts a hand on Ash's shoulder. Whoa! <laughs> Just throws him down. The... <laughs> <laughs> You wow. Open eyes, close eyes, go up, calm down. So uh, <laughs> Dernan will say, ah, and he, he'll point, and there's this big winch with a rope, right, a pulley system, hanging over the the abyss down. Um, he says, the gold a person, you're using the winch. Met throws four gold at him and runs to jump at the winch. Okay. So you grab it, right? You whoosh, whoosh, to the winch. And you winch. just like swing back and forth, right? Because it actually like he has he has a lever <laughs> that he going like anyway. No, like like he has there's a lever that's uh, attached to this pulley system that will slowly lower you down, right? Um and he'll let you know, right? The gold to go down, it's also a gold to come up. Right, so the rope goes down, so you have Yo, to. So if I don't have the money, you're just gonna let me die down there? <laughs> what the fuck? He, he looks at that you and he money. says, "He says, got strong arms. Surely you can climb." Well, you're not wrong. Uh, um, uh about that. <laughs> uh, he, he looks at you and Ezra and he says, "I suggest you make sure you have the gold." Yes, sir. That this is how this is how Dernan makes his money, a a gold going down and a gold coming back up. I'm I'm gonna make the assumption that he does not get a I'm lot so of income on the coming up price. You'd be surprised. A lot of people go down and then they chicken out, or they do very little and then they just come back up, right? Or they go down, find a nice safe room and camp for two days and then come back up. Right? And you, you see around you, there's a whole, like, there are bookies. There is a whole atmosphere of betting on the people going down. Is there a dead pool? Yeah, it's, it's yes. a, basically a dead pool. Yeah. 100% there is. So. Still just hanging here. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll jump up on the winch, find a place to put my foot. And then hang on to the rope instead of with my hand with my prehensile tail. <laughs> Sounds good. Something dirty about the word prehensile. Prehensile. Yeah, there is it. definitely something dirty about it. I can. Prehensile. Makes me think of fucking dolphin rape. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> Why? It does. I'm sorry. I don't know. The animal kingdom is horrendous. Anyways. It is. It's awful. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys want to do before we uh, head down and we actually get started in the Dungeon of the Mad As Well, as I'm being lowered down, uh, I want to I wanna catch Dernan's eye, kind of nod over towards Bonnie, and I'm going to tell him to take care of yourself. He just, like, smiles wryly at you, and he says, You're telling me that when you're going into the mouth of the abyss... And he just like gonna salutes sit. you as you're like going out of sight, <laughs> just like bye. Hey, see you later. <laughs> you know. So you guys lower down, down, down into the darkness. Um, and I think we're gonna go ahead and take a break here. We're gonna take a bio break, and when we come back, we are gonna be in the dungeon of the mad mage. And we'll go. Take a break. Freaking kicking some doors and loot some rooms. Hell yeah. I don't need to kick doors. I got a ram. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will see everyone in probably about five minutes or so. You're not the boss of me.
Hello, everybody. Greetings. All right. Greetings. All right. We are officially into Dungeon of the Mad Mage. That ominous music, shall we? All right, so, um, as we descend down into the darkness, I want to remind you guys of a couple of things. Um, that we're doing in Dungeon of the Mad Mage, we are going to be doing uh, exploration mode, uh, basically, where while we're exploring, we are working through initiative, and we kind of have a system worked out for that. Um, we, we're probably going to have a couple bumps or weird uhs here or there uh, until we get used to how that plays out. Might make a couple tweaks here or there. Don't worry about it. We're just playing to have fun, so no big deal. Okay. Um, second thing to note, I, I do want you guys to know this, we are using Advanced Fog of War, so as we explore throughout the dungeon, you guys are going to be revealing sections of the dungeon. Your sight is going to be revealed by your token, so if someone goes off and explores something on their own, they are not going to reveal that for the rest of the group, they're just revealing it for themselves, so keep that in mind, okay? Also That's note... Really cool. it should have always been like that. Also note, I want you guys to make sure that you can take notes, right? This map is going to be yours to write on. Um, take notes on the map, use the draw tool or the writing tool, and just let me know when you want to take some, take, make a note of something permanent. That way, like, uh, uh, I have to put it onto the map layer. That way you can see it when you're away from it in the fog of war. Okay? So if you want to notate, like, this is the room that has the waterfall in it, right? Just write it out, and I'll put it on the map, okay? This is the room with the uh, the giant crossbow that shoots off into the dark abyss, you know? Write it, we'll put it on the map, you know? This is the room of that treasure chest we can't open, and we're too worried to break, and we can't move it, etc., etc., okay? So... Let's pick things off. All right. <clears throat> As you all are lowered into the darkness, the faint sound of carousing echoes down from the yawning portal above. Dropping the last few feet from the rope, you land on a floor covered by a thin layer of sand. Abandoned detritus litters the floor, but the most commanding sight in the large open room are the dozens of shields hanging on its walls. Covered in graffiti and decayed by time, the shields cover the walls in shadow. But a slight break in their formation shows lettering written in a deep red stain. To the southwest lies a dark, passage leading further into the first level of Undermountain and what lies beyond. So, uh, one thing to start off with, uh, Ashes, Ezra, and Bones, I believe all have dark vision. Matashtai, I think everything's dark as down here for you right now, right? Yeah, it's real fucking dark. So I'll pull yeah. out my hooded lantern. Okay. Click my tinderbox. Sure. Okay, so right now, uh, I'm going to use this token. What's a hooded lantern light look like? I think it's uh, 20, 40. Uh, 20 dim, 40 total? 20 bright, 20 dim. Yeah, 40, 40 total. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so a uh, hooded lantern isn't a bullseye. You can't... You can't like elongate it, right? I have both. You have both. Okay, well we'll we'll work on that one if we need it later. For right now, uh, a hooded lantern is just basically the equivalent of a torch. It just doesn't. Uh, is there a there's a time limit on your hooded lantern, right? Six hours per flask of oil. Oh yeah, which I have twenty of. Oh boy, boy, I think you are okay. 
So a let's not let any fire get near Matt. Four. Otherwise, he explodes. <laughs> it's all in the bag of holding. It's okay. <laughs> it's just oh, you have a bag of holding? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, oh. it, actually, it looks kind of silly because Matt looks like he has nothing on him. Yeah, he's just got a bag. And he's a spear. just got one pouch on his yeah. hip and a spear on his back and a, and a longbow, sorry, strapped on his back, too. All right. Uh, Matt... This uh, token is yours to carry around with you. If you My want, token. <laughs> if you want, we can just make that the the light radius for your character, and then should you decide to do anything with the lantern, then we can adjust it or give you a separate token at there. Would you like to do that? Yeah, just make just make it my make it my light. Okay, we'll do it that yeah. way for now. Do a 40, 20, and all players have sight. Save. Okay, so. Um, immediately, right off the bat, everyone select your tokens and roll initiative. Whew. This is not, this is not combat what? initiative. This is uh, the, darkness. the darkness. I cast magic missiles. All right. That's, so that's I literally don't have to do anything. Um, you all drop the last few feet from the, uh, from the rope. <laughs> Spread out. Um, light blossoms around the room. And you see these shields, right? And that kind of space and the dark red stain upon it. The sand underneath your feet and the little bits and pieces, odds and ends scattered about. Matashtai, what do you want to do? Um, well, first, I'm going to kind of look to each of them and say, I should have thought about this before we came down here. What are each of your specialties? Um, should I go first? Uh, you you look over, right? And as uh, Ezra is kind of moving about and ashes, right, like jingles a little bit, right? You see Bones lands and moves through the sand without making a sound. Like literally makes no sound. Bones okay. has, I believe Bones has a passive stealth of 20. Good, it's very stealthy. Right. How do you, how do you, what, 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 what sets passive stealth? But it's the Probably. same functionality as a uh, passive perception. Looks like so stealth 10 plus before. your stealth, whatever? Yep. yep. Oh, okay. I do have a passive stealth of 20. Hmm. Yes. Uh, so okay. Bones is, he's a, he's a cat person. He literally just walks without making sound. Okay. I also have boots of elven kind. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm a. I'm then a, I'm a I don't know how tree. this works, but can I hold my turn to go after bones? Uh, no. You so okay. so you're not gonna hold your turn. You just decide your what your action is, right? You decide what you want to do right now. If you're traveling, right? If you're if you're gonna be like, I want bones to go ahead of me. You just wait until he it's his turn and he goes ahead of you and then on your next turn you're gonna be behind him so all right well yeah i'm gonna move up to this corner okay and i'm actually gonna have my bow out right now i'm kind of peek around Peeking around listening you uh you see a hallway heading south um and then it turns west you hear no real sounds faint echoes uh, the sounds of ruin, darkness. It's clear. <laughs> You're right next to like one of these decayed, rusted over say. like shields, right? <laughs> um, and it it smells a little moldy, a little musty with time, right? Ezra, would you like to do? The shields are on all the walls. It's kind of all. They're kind of scattered around. Or... Yeah, yeah. It's it's they're all around, almost like they were. They made like a band around the room. A couple of them are fallen or broken in places. Many of them, like I said, are old or decayed with time. Some of them look newer than others. These look to be like they're cast off shields of adventurers who have come down here. Right? They're they're signs of remembrance. Um, and then there's just that gap with that red stain. I would like to walk around the room, kind of 
in, in investigating sure. if anything stands out about any of these shields that should be a point of interest. Definitely. And uh, while me... I'm doing that, yeah, ro ahead. roll an investigation. Yep, yeah, roll me an investigation. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also uh, so so. Uh, I, I probably should have um, men mentioned something too. Um, while while I was looking into Undermountain, uh, th there, there's some. Um, uh, uh, interesting magic about about this place so we we can't uh leave this place magically if we get into trouble just so every everyone is clear um it's nothing in my repertoire at this point but uh if, if we get into some bad news um just keep that in mind all right um, Ezra, with that investigation check, uh, as you are looking about the room, kind of like, uh, taking a little pace around, you check all, you check these, uh, shields, kind of try to get an eye on things. Um, none of them really seem to, uh, stand out to you, but there is this red stain that as you get a little closer to you, you can see there are splotches, right? But then there are letters, um, do you speak Elvish? Mm -hmm. I assume you do. Okay. <laughs> One of my many. Just making sure. Um, so there is a message here written in Elvish, and it says, Shall see Volas Thrissar, Sitar Tandrishar, Teromel Shandol Tandras Kerer. And you, you know what this means is, uh, Beyond the Pillar Forest, the Mad Mage waits. Casting spells behind magic. Amazing how uh, One Elvish time. rhymes in both common and Elvish. Right. Uh, this is the rhyme that you. And I would I would translate it out loud so everyone hears and kind of sees what I'm doing. Okay. And that one is actually down here just away. So Ezra is down there reading. Um, Shay or Bones, what are you doing while this is happening? Oh, come on, guys. It's probably fine. How many people have been past this point? Two, three, from four, the, five, six. From the just random strewn objects on the ground? A bunch. Right. 15, 20, 25, 30... I'm going to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Seems fine. I'm going to go so, ahead and bonus action dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. I'll stop right there. Okay. So, M Matt, you rush up to this corner, right? Um, and then you hear Ezra talking about this riddle uh, that he sees on the wall. And then Bones just says, come on, it's fine. And he just, just zips past you. Right, just hey, zips wait. past you off into the darkness, zooms around the corner and off into the distance, and you, once he's out of sight, you can't hear him. Um, although I will say, no, uh, no. notate this: this is a part of the exploration mode rules. If you are dashing, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you are not stealthing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Throwing that out there, even even for the passive twenty cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, Bones, what you see as you come across this, uh, second bend, as the hall curves back to the north, it widens and plunges westward. Catching your first glimpse into it, you see the walls are covered in deep, door-shaped recesses, each containing a bas-relief carving of a different fiendish figure. Weird. To towards the western end... Actually, hold up. Let me let me double check your sight range. Yeah, yeah, like just just out of there. yeah, just a little bit. So you can see uh, towards the western end of the hall, there is a small skeleton with the head of a bird laying on the floor. One arm is pointing towards the southern wall. Um, huh. and I think. That's all that Bones is going to be able to do. So we pop over to Ashes. Ashes, what are you doing? You see uh, Bones see just bones, into the darkness. Yeah, off. I'll, I'll, I'll look at Matt and Ezra, shrug, and chase after him. Okay. So you all hear this. 
Because what are you wearing? You're wearing like a breastplate, half plate. Half plate. So you hear this. Shunk, 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 shunk. I mean, even if it wasn't the half plate, it'd probably be all the other shit I have on me. Anyway, As Ashes so. just goes, yeah, because he. I mean, Ashes is kind of like the version of Rin in this campaign, right? Is is he's just got like stuff strapped all Do over not his body. Do insult me in such a manner, sir. <laughs> or compliment Excuse you. Me? Right, and he just choosh, 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 goes running down. And Ren is a lot more quiet these days. These days, he didn't start that way. Um, Since but Ashes, half his loot is gone. You round the corner and you see Bones. Uh, you see Bones just ahead of you, uh, peering around another corner. Um, and that's pretty much what you see. Okay, in turn. Uh, Matashtai. So you, your allies have rushed ahead. Your 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 sorcerer is behind you, like uh, uh, at the pointing at the wall. Um, what do you want to do? Um, I put the bow away and pull up the spear instead. Not to be outdone, he starts to run around the corner. Are you gonna be able to keep up? He talks back to Ezra. I, I, I do better at, at, at a distance. Okay, shout if you need help, and I run after. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> ah! Wonderful. 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So, so you guys just go like dashing down this hall, kicking up sand, <laughs> right? Um, you run past ashes, done. you run past bones, and you kind of like skid to a halt as you find yourself in this, this long, wide hall. And to the north and south of you are just these wall carvings of fiends. Oh, directly to the north of you, right? You see a the the carving there is a massive winged fiend with great horns wielding a flaming whip and a long sword crackling with the power of the storm. Said, "Yep. That's why I stopped." Um next to it you Not see a hulking fiendish orangutan with a gruesome drooping visage and tusks jutting out from its jaw. Dur just to the south of you, to the southwest, right? You see a, uh, yeah, you see a rippling, almost like tree-like pillar, um, but it looks like its skin is writhing, um, and it just has this single malevolent eye and these branch-like arms. And there are just more down the hall of these different fiendish figures. Oh, well, I'm going to drop into a ready stance. Like, whoo, what, what are these? And uh, I think we kick back over to Ezra at that point. So I, I start walking. Oh, what's going on here? That thing's moving on all sorts of legged like uh, are you trying to drag and drop? Yeah. It might be easier to move via the arrow keys if you select your token and uh, click, click, click. Um, you can do uh, that. Okay. Or you can try to drag and drop. Sometimes the drag and drop gets a... Because there's so... These maps are huge, right? There's yeah, so much awesome. on these maps. So sometimes it can be a little finicky about dragging and dropping. Um, just as a heads up. And realizing that everyone is freaking booking it as yeah. I'm... You hear their, their like, footsteps just echoing in the distance. Well, you hear Except some of them. Well, you, 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 see, you see a little tiefling butt. A little tiefling butt? Do you have a tail? Tiefling butt. Poking I'm, around the edge. Yes, I definitely yeah, have. He talked about tail. his prehensile tail Oh, yeah, he already. did just Fucking talk about it. God. Sorry, my bad. Pay attention, Jeremy. Is it, is it like... Out, out? Is it armor? I mean, it's is it most of the time hidden behind my cloak? But oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's out. It's there. Oh, it's out. I didn't Ooh, know like if out. it had like if it my... had like specific armor encapsulating it or anything. It's out. No, it's no. ready to go. My my prehensile tail is erect. Gotcha. Whips All around. Right. All right, <laughs> sir. I didn't say anything. Calm you yourself. If you look at the if you if you look at my cloak, it's very obvious I'm pitching a tent. All right, Ezra, you uh, you come down the hall, right? Um, make your way, yes. trying to trying to keep pace with your over eager allies, 
right? And you can see in the distance, uh, Bones and Matashtai seem to have just stopped, right? Um, anything else you want to do? I don't see him. Okay, Bones, you're up. No, you're too far. All right, but... I'm right here. You said there's a dude on the western side. He's pointing. He's dead. Yeah, way over here, there's this skeletal uh, creature with like the uh, head of a bird, right? Um, and he he has an arm pointing to the southern wall. Is that the below me? Uh, no, like he, he's over here. Do you see him? Yeah, yeah. He's pointing to the wall directly below him. Huh? He looked like he pointing on purpose, or that's just how he fell. It. Uh, no, it looks like his body is intentionally like splayed out in it's because it's a skeleton, right? It looks like his body is laid out and the arm was like that. Hmm, that's weird. I'd like to incite the skeleton. Um, okay, so I went five. Do it on 10, your turn. 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm -hmm. Let's look. I'm gonna look. Yeah, so you see more and more of these uh, crazy fiendish creatures in, set into the walls. That's what each of these star symbols is. Each of them is a different bas relief uh, of a different fiend. The one that the skeleton is next to is a corpulent, grotesque mockery between an ape and a boar. Multiple tusks sprouting from a double chin with feather wings too small for its bloated body. Weird. Um, hmm. You know, I still think it's the beginning, so I'm not really worried about anything. I'll go ahead and dash again, because I want to get up there and take a look at it. For my bonus action. Uh, 5, 10, oh, I'm not clicked. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, I poke around where he's pointing at. I want to investigate. Roll me an investigation check. Mm-hmm. Uh, or a perception. Oh, I want to roll perception. Um, okie dokie. What'd you get? 17. 17, that's pretty Which good. actually below my passive of 18. <laughs> yep. Let's take a look. See if there's actually in there. I want to, yeah, I want to know why he's pointing. What's he pointing at? Oh, are these all? Yeah. Let me double check something real quick. Ba 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 ba. ba. Yeah. This one. Um. <laughs> Uh, be to be Sorry. Uh, make your check with advantage. This okay, I'll just scroll it again. It's still seventeen. Yeah, you don't like this. This wall is weird the bas relief itself um right it, it's this creature that i've described to you um but it has this uh i don't know it has a weird vibe about it it, it makes your skin crawl a little bit it's almost like the like if you look away right it's almost like uh like eyes are upon you type thing you know huh. but there's nothing weird. there Okay, well, if there's nothing there, I'm just going to keep going my last 10 feet of movement. I'll just shout back, huh? That was weird. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Did you see anything? I don't see it. Doesn't look like anything at all to me. <laughs> Good I mean, there's a thing there. Um, I think though. Where 
the demons you? attack. Um, I don't know, at the corner. Yeah, you were back here. Okay. Spawn. Sixty feet away. Uh uh uh. At that point, I think bones triggers the fight. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Use um sure. Well, comes the suing from goddamn world combat. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think we have to worry about that. Uh, Whatever that was transformed into his buck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bones. Hello. Uh, you are not surprised. Um, barely. As uh, two figures uh, before you, right? You see this um, uh, to the west. These stairs leading down into a forest of pillars, which obscure your vision further into the dungeon. Um, you see, uh, from where you are, you see the topmost pillar has this giant snake coiled, uh, this giant, uh, skeleton of a snake coiled up around it, right? Um, and as you look up there, your eyes see this, this little blur of motion, and I need everyone to select their tokens and roll initiative. We're gonna we're gonna do some fighting. Woo! I love Ooh, to fight. Ba, 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 oh, ba, ba, not happy ba. about that eight. <laughs> not super thrilled about that fourteen. Yeah. I'm super As thrilled about my running out of the darkness. You one see? One. <laughs> Damn, Ash is ready to party. Yeah, running out of the darkness, you see two of these uh, creatures. Spears. Bugbears. Bugbears. And we're gonna do. That's we're gonna Jay's, shut uh, that Smash off. Brothers, uh, invite. Ashes is ready to party. Start off. <laughs> I feel like why even have a mace when you have a fucking gauntlet with a spike that big on it? Agreed. Right. Oh dang, they got they got good initiatives. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> So starting off, uh, this one comes. This one is the blur that you see, um, and it comes running out of the darkness. Can't quite get uh, close enough to you, so <laughs> it it comes kind of running up, uh, and no, as no it does, moving. it comes up here comes running oh, okay. up and it launches uh, a javelin at you why are they like foggy is uh, there cause... a reason my vision just stops right here they're see-through because that's the vision of your lantern yeah probably. that's the vision of you uh, by beyond that point is darkness oh so like uh jay said earlier it's actually supposed to be 30 60. yeah okay. so it's well, 30 feet of bright to... yeah. 30 feet of dim mine is 60 all which Steve, looks correct 30. on the map Safe. Uh, yours, uh, they look gray um, for you, Bones, because you have you have dark vision. You have this is all dim light to you. So when you're in the radius of the lantern, everything's going to be bright. But if you're outside the lantern's radius, it's just going to be dim light for you. So that's oh, the grayness. Yeah, I understand. So this okay. is basically you're seeing on grayscale yeah, at that point. Um, so this guy comes running up out of the uh, darkness, and he will launch a javelin at you. Boo -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo. You are not surprised. So that is an not eight. Now. So this javelin goes swinging, hurling through the air past you, clatters on the ground. Matt, you actually, uh, can you oh, see shit. the bugbear now? No, I can't see the bugbear. I just see a javelin. Okay, yeah, you just see this javelin kind of fly out of darkness and then tsh, tsh, skid across the ground. Whoa. Um, Ashes, you're up. You hear uh, this. I shout back, my bad. That wasn't me, though. 
<laughs> you uh, hear this. Uh, you hear startlement, uh, alarm. Your your friends are engaged in battle. What would you uh, do? Hearing hearing that, uh, Ash just uses his free action to uh, rip his long sword out of its sheath as it sings. Ezra, you can see veins of light blue glisten from the blade. Veins? Well, wow. yeah. In the blade. Does it have skin? No, it's not <laughs> veins. <laughs> it's a skin sword. I love it. No, it's not a skin sword. That's gross. <laughs> and uh, he's going intimidation to checks. duck low and then dash. Put disadvantage on all charisma checks. And as he passes by Matt, he says, on your left. <laughs> he says, on your left. On, on your, your left. left. <laughs> love it. Rude. That'll be in turn. Um, okay, um, Ashes, when you are done, um, this uh, bugbear comes rushing forward, um, and he can close the distance, so he comes rushing forward with his uh, morning star out. Um, as he runs forward, um, he shouts out, Tegank! Just knock again, call! Um, does anyone yeah, speak? Gang. That sounded goblin. Really racial. Uh, guess nope. who speaks goblin? Guess who speaks goblin? Is it? Is it? Is it ashes? Uh, it's ashes. So you can you can hear uh, these. The this bugbear calls out to uh, his ally and uh, basically says, uh, "Let's flank this guy." Um. Wow. So That's he rude. takes he takes a swing at uh bones okay take a swing take a swing it's a 19. yeah that'll hit uncanny dodge for 13 damage uncanny dodge <laughs> immediately uncanny dodge, uncanny dodge. uh yep. yeah so you take half of that so that'll be uh what uh seven seven yeah seven damage okay. as he clips you he wings you with the morning star six. should be six always round down Okay. Okay. Yeah. Six. So, plus one. Yeah. Hey, that one might save you. You never know. It probably will. Okay. So, oh, um, so uh, that guy is done. Matashai, you're up. Uh, so just to double check, I can only put away one weapon or draw one weapon. You have one item interaction per turn. That means drawing a weapon is one direction, stowing a weapon is one interaction, etc. Terrible. 5, 10, uh -huh. 20, 25, 30, uh -huh. 35, 40. Um, now Matt's fast. He's a monk. He's a quick boy. Um, Dude, the map does not like it when I resize my window. It's a big map. It hates it. It hates everything about that. Yeah, I'm a step of the wind and get all up in there. Get all up in there. Cool. I'm gonna get behind this boy. So that burns a key point for you, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. And then... Dude. So, so Ashes, you see Matt come rushing past you. And then all of a sudden, just like place his feet and goof, like almost kind of like anime style, just a burst of speed goes just hauling ass, skids around bones and this uh, this bugbear, and it's yeah, kind of like use the spear to like slow his movement and like on, drift yeah. around the fucking. And he kind bugbear. of like he has to like slide down two steps and get like kind of up underneath this bugbear with the with the way these steps are going down. Right? Uh, Ash is going to assume that uh, gravity is a lot higher on his home planet. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's how that works. Um, and then I'm going to swing at him uh, two-handed with Tan Bukiri. Fantastic. Let's see it. Uh, do I have advantage? You have a, you... You're flanking. Yeah. We okay. are 100% sure playing flanking rules, but bear in mind the enemies will they be doing it to you. Yep. I don't, have to, I don't have to stay here. I still have plenty of movement. Hmm? Okay. Well, they <laughs> you don't have to stay here. <laughs> Very nice. 26 oh. will definitely hit. Have at oh, it. Oh. 
Oh yeah, um, so you you whirl around this guy and just like thrust the the spear up into him. He it pierces his side. He screams in pain. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw a kick into his side. Ooh, with an nice strike. Gotcha. Um, granting me agile parry. That'll hit. Ooh, yeah, nice. So a kick into his side. Um, so, he uh, because grunts. of agile parry, my AC goes up to 19. Oof. Nice. Um, and then I'm gonna shift back over here and hold That's the hallway. Cool. I like that. Dope. Very nice. Now, do keep in mind these uh, these symbols that I have put it out. They don't actually uh, take up space. They are bas reliefs on the wall, so you do have uh, space just to the north of oh, you. Oh, you can move into those spots. Yeah, you okay. can move into those spots. It's just graphic oh, okay. depiction. Because otherwise, if I don't put some sort of graphic depiction, there's no way to showcase that they're on this section of wall. You know? Sure. So. Um, specifically, Matashtai is done, and Ezra, uh, the sounds of battle clash in the distance. Oh, oh what do you want to do? Oh you did say you were better at a distance, insane. so... <laughs> I just think maybe you were thinking not this much of a distance. <laughs> I'm still within range to do almost everything. <laughs> sounds good. Can you see, uh, though? Yeah, he can see. He has, he oh, has... Yeah. Good. And there's you guys have the lantern, so that yep. helps too. Oh, I forgot um, about that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna take my uh, scepter and kind of reach it out in a raking motion as I cast Chill Touch at the bugbear that's being flanked. Nice, big yeah. And big boy damage indeed. Yeah, this uh, spectral claw <sighs> rakes across the bud bugbear, and he. Uh, he screams and writhes in pain, right? As this, these, uh, uh, this gash of necrotic energy goes across his chest. Um, anything else for you, Azura? That's all I got. Okie dokie, bones. Um, all right. So as as Matt engages and shifts around this dude, I take his cue. I uh, reach behind me and uh, unclip my double bladed scimitar. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Shift around. And also make an attack. Mm hmm. At advantage. Don't let it do a door assault! Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh. And you slice and also, into the sky. Cut. You slice Oof, into the sky mm, and. That's some damage. Just like cut him stem to stern. Just uh, uh, slice him open and he. Uh, he sh uh, and just falls and splatters and blood pours out. Um. He is, Five, he is dead. 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to go right here if I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I will go ahead and make the other end of my attack. I don't think that has to be against the same person, right? I, uh, I don't believe so. I think it just has to use an attack and then you can do it. As far as I'm aware. Okay, well then I will we just double continue check it later. on with the same motion, and uh, as I'm coming around, just... Oops, not sneak attack. Oh, I hit the right thing, cool. Uh, nice. But this will be at normal, so 24. Yeah, Other so end. You totally hit him. Uh, Other and, end. <laughs> and yeah, you, you, you still deliver a brutal slash across this guy's chest, right? Um, and he roars out, and he looks at you just with, like, fury and malice in his eyes. Uh, but you notice he doesn't... doesn't say like, I don't. Huh? Oh, uh, on the, the rule? It doesn't say I don't, it's not like an offhand weapon. No, it should be fine. I don't... Maybe not, I don't know. What? Maybe not oh, Well, I was asking about the oh, attacks oh, oh, on the oh. offhand. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, no, it is It is not a... It's not an offhand weapon. It's a bone... It's a special attack that the double-bladed scimitar gets. That's all it is. Like, it, it has its own... It's like the same thing as, like, Polar Master, right? It has a special secondary attack, so it still gets the. I don't bonus. think you apply your mod on Polar Master. Well, I we'll, might be wrong on that though. Yeah, we'll verify it later. Anyways, so you get a good slash across on him. Um, he in turn is going to. Uh, well, he's gonna bring out his Morning Star and he's gonna try and wail on you, Bones. 
Yeah. You're the guy right in front of him, so he will swing, and I believe that's a miss. Which, Ooh, thank God, that's a which big is hit. fortunate. That's a big hit. Oh shit! Ooh. Yeah, that would have hurt. Yeah. Okay, so you uh, like you duck out of the way, and he <laughs> clangs into the pillar of stone behind you, right? Um, and he just looks angry and frustrated. Ashes, you're up. Uh, Ashes is going to uh, jump into action as he uh, once again burns his action to dash, and okay. is going. To to uh, flank with bones with this other bugbear. Oh, sure. So you just uh, dash, uh, kind of do a little hop over the body of the fallen bugbear. Um, it's kind of the blood just pouring out onto the stone floor. Uh, rush down the stairs and flank this uh, other creature. Anything else for your turn? Uh, that'll be in turn. Okay. Um, Matt. You hear this and ripping and pulling and tearing itself out of the skull of the dead bugbear looks like a little brain with legs. Gross. Oh god. Gross. I'm sorry, what? And as it pulls itself free, it kind of, like, turns to you. And uh, I need you to... <laughs> I need you to make a DC 12 intelligence saving throw. DC 12 intelligence? Of course. Yep. Oh, that's not supposed to be advantage. I really hope the 15 was the first one. <laughs> 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 oh, no. no. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Zero. Mm. Mazel tov. The campaign has begun. Holy crap. Um, okay. So if you succeed, you are good to go. Um, if the total... Yeah. Nope, you're good. Um, you feel like this, this burn right in your brain like this thing is is trying to attack your psyche um but you are able to fend it off your uh, your intellect is great enough to sustain its assault um and it's your go i would like to kill it you can I do not like that it attempted certainly to try attack to attack me um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, take Don Ton Bakiri in two hands again and just start stabbing at it. Stupid little brain thing. <laughs> uh, okay, the first one Ooh, will hit. Second the hit. second one will not. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you you stab it the first time, and it's actually this weird squelching, sickening sound that as you pull it out, right, it's just, and you see uh this kind of. A uh, clearish fluid just spurts out of it, right? Um, and it it doesn't have a mouth, right? But you feel this hum, this high pitched like whine in your mind, like it screams. Okay, uh, so it's still alive. Yeah, it's still alive. All right, I'm gonna try and punt it. Okay. <laughs> With my bonus action. Sure. Is a hit? Uh, yeah. Bonus 13. action. Thirteen will hit. Yep. Be punted. Uh, so yeah, you kick the crap out of it. You don't. You don't send it flying. Um, but you land a solid kick on it. Uh, again, like it's this fleshy, moist, spongy mass. So when you kick into it, it actually squelches again, and fluid just kind of gushes out around your foot. Um, it looks incredibly injured, but it is still up. Damn it. <laughs> I love how the uh, the bloody symbol is bigger than it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Oh, I have uh, I have what you call it turned on. Let me actually change that real quick. I don't want uh, to do. do, do. Uh, where is it? Um, it should be fine. I'll fix it later. It's not a big deal. I don't want, uh, 
I don't want the uh, uh currently i have it set to where um uh, icons are outside of the token itself i'll work on that uh here in a second anyways uh so you are you done with your turn uh yeah 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 oh okie dokie ezra you're up So I'm finally getting into this room, seeing all of these stonified <laughs> demons. Yeah, horrendous, mm -hmm. these horrendous bas relief carvings of these Boy. demons. Oh, I forgot yeah. to ask: Are they one to one, like in size? No, they're not one to one in size. They're all okay. they're all roughly the same size. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So not as terrifying as it originally sounded. Good. No. Well, I mean, some of them some of them are more terrifying than they would be oh, in, just, in oh, normal fair. life, right? <laughs> so. Statue alone would take up half the freaking. Yeah. Hallway. All right. Uh, seeing this walking brain attacking Matt. All I could just see is oh, like a uh, half life head crab. We can just kind of. Ten. Poof. Unfortunately, uh, the, so the spectral claw streaks out, and uh, it's kind of like right after he punts the creature, so it doesn't fly, but it does kind of do this little hop thing, and when it comes back down, you just strike out of the way of it. Bummer. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Okie dokie. Bones, you're up. Uh, this uh, weird uh, uh, brain creature has pushed forth from the uh, other, the dead bugbear, uh, but there is yeah, a live bugbear in front of you. But uh, to Bones' uh, point of view, uh, that's small and this dude is large. He's very large. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, attack him mm -hmm. um, while player. flanking with uh, ashes. Yep, you get advantage. Uh, Ooh, 21. and you needed it. 21 will hit. Sure do, and here's my sneak attack. That's a five. That's a, ooh, not the greatest damage. sneak attack, but you do stat. You just like pierce him in the chest, and he just like roars in your face. Um, he okay. looks well, he looks he on the death door. Alive, I'm just gonna keep on with the spinning and attack with the other end. Yep, and that one takes him across the throat. There's a spurt of blood, um, and he goes down. Okie dokie. Anything else for your turn? Um, I'm good. Okay. As he slumps down, his big body kind of like ripples with the blood flowing down out from from his neck that you've slashed open, right? Oh, I'm getting ready. His whole like body just kind of like jiggles. He hits the knee, and before his whole before his body even falls to the ground, his head cracks open, and you see this thing just pull itself out. You see another one of these little brains pull itself out. Um, and it immediately, like, looks around, um, and I think it actually turns to Ashes. Ashes, I need you to make me a DC 12 intelligence saving throw. Oh, I, dude, I'm super intelligent. I figured you might be. <laughs> the brain also thought you might be. The brain saw, oh, look at this guy in heavy armor. Let's go for him. <laughs> Damn! Damn Still aced it! Uh, you are able to resist the psychic attack on your persons. Uh, so no devouring intellect today, I fear. Um, okay, so it is done with its turn. Um, and ashes were to you. It leaps at, <laughs> I'm going to assume, like it leaps at me. And I'm just going to punt it with the pommel back to the ground when it hits the ground. And instead of like trying to stab it or something, I'm just going to bring the entire blade. Just whoosh, right and smash me, try it. Try to cleave this son of a bitch in half. Hell yeah. Two-handed. Ashes grips tightly on his hilt, and you can hear the leather stretching <sighs> as he... Right, do the... <sighs> thing. And... 21. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, 
All right, 10 slashing damage. Very good. Uh, is your sword... Ad Actually, yeah, is your sword magical? It is a plus one, so... It is a plus one, yep. So it is magical then. Okay. Um, you slice into this creature and it seems to... Uh, uh, it, it, you feel this hum, right? And this kind of high-pitched whine, like it's shrieking into your mind. Um, and that is your turn. In the turn. All right. Uh, the brain <laughs> will. I'd really like it to not will try to get assault me. you again. <laughs> you kicked the crap out. You literally kicked it like a sad brain puppy. You I'd kicked prefer it. for it to just be dead. It uh, it is gonna it try to. It captures my brain. Oh. Okay. Damn. Are you dead? No. Uh. So you take. I mean, I don't know how this works. 2d10. You take 8 is... psychic damage. Okay. Oh, I'm resistant to psychic damage. Fantastic. So you take 4 That's psychic damage. And then it is going to roll 3d6. More psychic if... damage? No, no. <laughs> it rolls 3d6. If the total equals or exceeds the target's intelligence score, that score is reduced to 0. And the target is stunned until it regains at least one point of intelligence. Fuck so you, what yeah. is your intelligence that, score? What's your intelligence score? My ability mod or no, my score? No, your actual intelligence. Straight up nine. your intelligence. Nine. So if it oh. is nine or higher, it's going to it's gonna Hold on, reduce me, you to a drooling mass. Sure. <laughs> Sounds pretty like... Oh, no, it's eight. It's got to be an eight. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, okay. Somehow worse. Yep, yeah, you're I'm done. pretty fucking. I'm pretty. Boom! Fucking this psychic mode. wave just like hits your mind, um, and you are resistant to the energy. You know what? No, yeah, you're resistant to the the energy. You take the damage, right? You take half the damage, but it's still able to overpower your mind and just put you into a catatonic state. You are your intelligence is reduced to zero, and you are cool. stunned. Until or... you regain intelligence. How do I regain intelligence? You do not know. You are not Whoa. smart enough. Okay. It is done. Matashtai, you are stunned. Ezra, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Sweet dungeon delve, guys. We're done. It was fun. That's for the day. <laughs> Oh God! Give me a broken heart. Oh yeah, at the at the brain. Yeah. Oh yeah, you slash that thing to ribbons. Like uh, you come clawing in with the the spectral the chill touch, and it just like sinks deep into its flesh, and it you see it withers right where the where the spectral claw slashes, and the thing dies. It dies. All right. Okay, Matt. He, he is a drooling Matt. mess on Matt. the ground. Matt. Like, he is slumped down to the ground. He's kind of, like, half-leaned on the spear, right? And he's just... Um, yeah. All right, anything Throw else for your away. turn, Ezra? Yes, sir. Bones, you're up. Okay. I'm going to cut this little brain. I'm going to cut it up. Cut him. Cut uh. the shit out of him. I'm cutting him, bro. Sateen. 13. I don't know if that hits or not. I'm just rolling everything. <laughs> yeah, just roll it all. Uh, not Nothing, nothing's magic. You, uh, okay, sure. That's good to know. So that means uh, you... Still... What is that, 22 on the first hit? 22 yeah, you, in the first hit. Yeah. yeah, 22 on the first hit, you you cut it in half. You literally, you split the brain in half, and then you stab one of the halves just for good measure. <laughs> like, it is, uh, it is very dead. Um, I survey the area. And we can fall out of battle music and in back into regular music. 
Um, so in the in the moments after this uh, sudden attack with these bugbears, right, and then these weird little brains. Ooh, I didn't show you guys the little brains up close and personal. Uh, I don't want to see them, Jeremy. Get out of here. Here, here are your little brains. Oh, he's so cute. Little it's little dog cute. brains. It's terrible. I wonder if they have cute little toe beans. <laughs> wow, that is a good in question. I bet they have the best little toe beans. He's got yeah, frog legs in his back. That's pretty terrifying. <laughs> his front legs are like uh, mole claws, and his back legs are like frog legs. Right. It's uh, it's pretty horrendous. Hey, that's good. Um, yeah, these things are exceedingly one. terrifying. Um, but Matashtai seems to have been reduced to a drooling mass. Was there the... anything that I could see in right. connection to that attack from a distance? Um, I mean, the the brain creature itself seemed to be like it was facing him, and there definitely seemed to be some sort of uh, a scenario happening there, but there wasn't any overt magical functionality, right? No streaks or rays or, you know, blinding brilliance or anything like that. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's too much of a leap of uh intelligence or or anything like that for ezra to, to think though that that creature did something to matashtai can i examine him see what kind of a magical effect is hey man good job him? man yeah uh, yeah you said you were awesome you can roll yeah. me a uh medicine check or you can roll me an arcana check at disadvantage Um, this, uh, m magically, uh, this is a very weird kind of magic. It's more linked towards, like, psionics. Um, it is literally just a psychic ability that these creatures have. Um, and he seems to have, whatever it did, it seems to have hit Matashtai's mind so hard that he's catatonic. Uh, Guys, we, we, we have a problem. Buddy, you, you, you're right. I'll uh, I'll give him a, a little. Okay, what's wrong with him? Uh, th th this little brain creature did something, and uh, h h his brain is all sorts of discombobulated. Cool. So fix him. Uh, that is not you can do that? my uh, the the wheelhouse. Okay. I mean, we, we could take a rest and see if he comes to. Maybe scout out this next room just to make sure you know something doesn't jump us, though. Yeah, mm. right. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll go look, but, you know, fix it, Ezra. Figure it out. You're uh, smart. Uh, uh, um, I'll leave. Fix it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh... Bones, you move to investigate this uh, room of pillars. Uh, Ezra, you're looking over Matashtai ashes. What are you doing? Uh, I mean, if if Ezra is going to be concentrating on getting Matt back, uh, I will just patrol the area and make sure nothing doesn't catch us unawares. But um, also, as I, on, on the sly, uh, remind loot the yeah. bodies, as I, on the sly, remind the players that this is a dungeon crawl, and uh, uh, while I we we normally play a lot of games where it's more roleplay and set piece battles, so looting bodies isn't as much of a thing, but in a dungeon crawl, probably loot most of the bodies you find. Okay, I will loot the bodies. So, uh... Bones, real quick, you find, uh, you've seen this, um, giant skeleton of a constrictor snake coiled up to the northernmost pillar up here, right? Yep. Um, on the southeast wall down here, you see, uh, carved onto the wall in common, it says, 
certain death this way, and there's an arrow pointing to the south. Hmm, okay. So, um, not south. And then you can see there is a these staircases leading up, uh, one set to the west, um, and a long hall going that direction, and then one set to the north, and another hall going that direction. Okay, I'm gonna go to the entrance to each of these areas. I guess I can only do one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not gonna go in, just to see if I see anything without going in. Okay, sure. Uh, get to you in just a moment. Um, ashes, as you are rummaging about the bodies of the bugbears, you find 27 shards and 38 nibs, um, and you find on one of the bugbears a necklace of fingers. Mm, great. I'm sorry, how many nibs? Uh, 38. Great. There, uh, they seem. There are a variety of different appendages upon this necklace. Wait, uh, I have an idea. I got this. I walk up and I drape the necklace around <laughs> Matt's neck. Uh, so, as a, spell, I'm sure of it. You, you watch this uh, as you're trying to, you know, like determine and see if you can't, like, you lay, you, you lay Matashtai down instead of him just like drooping on his spear, right? You lay him down so that he's not in in danger of falling and hitting his head or anything like that. Um, Ashes comes over and drapes this weird finger necklace across his uh, his chest. It does nothing, it, it came and it from smells. Surely, it's the source of the spell. I, and I, I when, when the necklace is pulled over your neck, some fingers kind of, you know, <laughs> did they touch his face? Yeah. yeah, just a little bit, kind of glance off his. Can I get a magical Love essence it. off of that necklace? You know, I, I, uh, I no, know you do sure not. Gonna work. I don't. Oh, actually, gonna work. actually, hold up, wait a minute. Uh, we will be doing actual uh, uh, magic stuff in here. So to te to detect magic, um, you need to actually detect magic. Um, there's a slight change from how I normally run things in campaigns, but yeah. And if that means like a spell change or anything like that, uh, feel free to like go about that. Cause I, yes, I, I have just learned to detect magic. Congratulations, Bones. That's good to know. Also, Bones, greater restoration. You see down this hall that you have walked up to, uh, you see a series of alcoves uh, heading off to the west. A long hall stretches out before you. Niches each with a few, each a few feet deep line the north and south walls you can see into the nearest niche um mounted on the back wall uh is are large oval glass mirrors um set in heavy stone frames you can't see into all of these uh niches that are further down the hall but they are roughly the same size um, and it appears as though each one of these might contain a mirror. About halfway down the hall, right about here, you could just barely make out uh, the what looks to be like the blackened end of a burnt-out torch. Huh. Okay. Um, what's I'd like going... to move to the other thing. Up to the north one or the south one? Yeah. The north. The south one says certain death. Yes. <laughs> not, okay, not that one. Gotcha. So you move I up to the north one. I think you should one. check that one out. Um, what... I will, but not just not yet. What's going on with everyone else while Bones is uh, scouting around at the other uh, halls? I'm going to start examining those statues. Okay. Um. Go real quick. I'll just go down the line for you. You are you wanting like a description of each one, or are you wanting to just like investigate them, or or what are you, what's your plan? Yes. What what is your aim? Yes. So I I need to know yes. what your aim is, <laughs> so I can provide to you the information with which uh, to achieve that goal. Well, first and foremost, cursory glance. Do I recognize what the creature is? 
secondary is there anything out of place is there something that might be a trigger trap door blah 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 blah. okay so um cursory uh roll me a history check um and then more in depth you can roll me a perception or an investigation You, I would say, with a 16 history, you recognize some of these, um, maybe not all of them. Uh, it seems to you as though the northern bas-reliefs are, are demons, and the southern ones are devils. Um, you can pick out a couple uh, amongst them, right? Um, but maybe there are one or two that uh, Ezra is not quite familiar with, or he he's not he maybe like uh, thinks he has an idea, but he's not too sure. Um, uh, actually, here I will uh, I'll give you a copy pasta here in a second that you can look over while uh, kind of in your own free time. Um, but uh, with the fifteen investigation, you find right you see this skeleton. Um, on the ground and it's pointing to the south um, and you you check through some of the bas reliefs they're very talented carvings but other than that they're I mean they're spoopy and you get this very weird vibe while you look at them other than that that's pretty much all you find now the the skeleton is pointing to one of the reliefs specifically or I mean, it's a it's a skeleton on the ground, so like it's just pointing to the southern wall. There is a there is a bas relief directly where it's pointing, yes, but it it, it doesn't have any animation, so it's not like I'm pointing at this thing. It's just pointing in that direction, um, and that one is uh, roughly. I'd, I'll say Ezra probably uh, can identify this one. That's he's pointing at a Nalfeshne. Poor motherfucker. With cherub-like wings. Yep. I thought South was devils, though. Ooh, did I get that wrong? I might have. I might have uh, flopped it. Um, hey, Ezra. It might be you... mixed, actually. Okay. You think we might need to go back up top and uh, have somebody look at our friend here? Or that might. Just... I, I'm not I, 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 yeah I'm, I'm not sure if we could uh, take a rest if it seems secure and maybe he just needs to uh, sleep it off sleep it off I, I'd kind of hate to go back you know after you guys yeah. have been in the dungeon for less than 10 minutes I, I at this point oh man like legitimately We'll that. just tie him to the rope and pull and attach a note with a with a, <laughs> with, with a single gold piece on it. Yeah, Please that way we're back. not Fix. we're not the failures. He's the failure. Ooh, strong <laughs> strong words there. Oh shit, that's bad. Not you, Mitch. You're not the failure. Not that he's there. Um. So yeah, oh, he's gosh. the failure. Unless he can hear me, then he's not. Gotcha. <laughs> I I understand what your plan of attack is. Um, okay, so uh, Bones, to the north, you see a hallway that uh, continues further north, right? And then splits one going, uh, a direction going east and a direction going west. Uh, but much closer, just about 20 feet uh, down the hall, you see a hall that shoots back to the right. Um, okay, I um, I stop, I take a, I take a listen, I take a... I take a smell. Uh, perception. Trying to, try, try to detect anything over that away that possibly means me harm. Yep. Um, I'll roll a perception for you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm up and about. I, my leg's hurting. No problem. Yeah. Ooh, a 24. Um... Yeah, so you you turn, you look around, right? Um, and you listen and you sniff. 
Um, and you don't hear or see anything of worry or note or anything like that in, in the immediate vicinity or down this hall. Um, but as you're kind of like turning back to the party, you see off of the backside of one of these pillars, you see this thin like line, right? That uh, in, in implies to you uh, a secret compartment or something. Whoa, did I go check that out then? When, okay. when it's my turn again. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you we're, we're kind of like, again, so in, in exploration, we'll go in, in turn order, but when we're kind of like sitting in these more role play ish, grayish. Oh, we're moments, not in exploration. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love we're, to go and we're like, check that out. Yeah, yeah. So people feel free to jump in at this per point in time. I'm just kind of like feeling about and asking for each of you, like, what's going on um so you you find your way over to this um secret compartment and um as you inspect it it's basically a loose stone that has a little seam that can be pulled out um and there is indeed a secret compartment uh behind it um there's just nothing in it dang a secret compartment with nothing in it what a letdown. Maybe we can use that, though. It seems um, you are on the first floor of the dungeon, so it seems potentially... Probably found and looted? A lot of the things there yeah, that you might find are already potentially found and looted. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. uh, let's turn to kind of like the greater question at hand here. What, what uh, uh, as a party, do you all want to do about the Matashtai situation? You want to uh, take a short I rest? I to heft him up over his shoulders and start walking him back to the entrance. I mean, I think we should definitely just chill out for like, I don't know, half an hour or a short rest, whatever, and just see if something happens. I mean, he, he's not like, he's breathing on his own, right? Yeah, he he does not seem to be in, uh, in... No, you have to, you have to breathe for me. <laughs> Iron lungs. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be in harm's way. He's just catatonic. Pump he's, ashes, pump! He's comatose. Okay, I mean, so, like, I don't know. I don't see a problem with waiting, like, half an hour and see if he gets better. All right, what if so... I cut him? Pain is, like, a like a, a response. Oh, I want to yeah. cut him a little bit. Okay. So you make a... Uh, uh, bones goes to make a very small slice yeah, just on, a little cut. On Matt, uh, Matashtai, you take one point of damage. Does he react? Uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't seem to. Damn, that was my best idea. So, are you guys going? You want to? Do you want to travel back to the uh, entry room? It would be the safest place to rest. Okay. I guess so. So go ahead and navigate yourselves back there. Uh, Mitch, if you don't mind moving Matashtai for me um, so that we don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, and so you guys head back to the beginning and bunker down for uh, an hour, um, take a short rest. Uh, anyone who would like to can burn a hit dice in order to regenerate their hit points, including you. Yep, if, if you so choose, you, you definitely can do that. Mm -hmm. Since I got fucking cut. Yep, you, you got cut. Uh, <laughs> you little baby. I'll do a hit die for, for 1 HP. Yeah. Also, uh, as a heads up, um, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be good about this. So you guys help me and bear, bear in mind with me, or keep this in mind with me. Um, after the end of every battle, I need to give you your experience points. So everyone can add 250 experience for the fight with the bugbears and the intellect of ours. What, what uh, are, are uh, me and Matt just starting off with? the whatever it takes to get to five yeah okay which is how much 
Yep. Okay. Um, so we are going to exit this. Um, is there anything uh, you guys want to do? Conscious people. Is there anything you want to do during the... Uh, during the so bear in mind right we're going to be doing a lot of dungeon delving so short rests and long rests are actually time opportunities for you guys to role play with each other tell stories right around the campfire or over a meal or or something like that it doesn't have to be every time don't feel any pressure or anything like that but if you're looking for a chance to have that rp conversation rests are a good time to do so so does anyone uh, have anything they want to do during the short rest? I tell hey Matt, them the like? I tell them the story of my world through the language of saliva. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, well, then, if there is nothing else at the end wow. of this short rest, Matashtai's eyes flutter open as he regains one intelligence. What? Sweet. Okay. I thought for sure that would not work. Do I just stay at one intelligence? You are at one intelligence. Wait, wait, wait. You cool. mean his, his uh, ability modifier or his... No, his score. intelligence is one. He's got a minus... What is it? Minus five? Five. Now? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. So, Matashtai, yes, you, we're done. You, you, so, so, from a mechanical standpoint, to explain what this means to you guys, um, Matashtai, uh, until he gets, yeah. until he gets up to like a four, uh, or three or four, he is basically non-functioning. He, <laughs> he is, he has now become aware of his surroundings, right? No. But he does not have the the capacity to truly function and op he doesn't have motor skills or anything like that. Once he hits three, he can start to become active and start to do things, but he still won't have intelligence until he hits four. So and this was thirty minutes of rest, he got a No, this out. was an hour. Short rest <laughs> or an hour. He gets one it's intelligence like per hour. hour. Yeah, be, be real specific. So, uh, hey guys, you want to set up camp literally at the entrance of the... I mean, I, like... I mean, it is night. We're, we're, we're probably a little tired anyways, so... I'm not tired. You're tired. <laughs> yes, I am. That's why I said it. I know. That's why I backed you up. So, are you guys... Uh, so there, there is a difference, okay, as a heads up. Are you guys planning to long rest or are you planning to short rest? Are you planning multiple short rests or are you planning to try to long rest? Um, we need to, well, at this point, we might as well just go up to the yawning portal. Yeah, the point being... I, mean, I, would, I would rather pay four gold, get up there. Fuck that, I'm not being a be fucking safe. failure. The, we the survived. Point, I think we, that's a we success. Can, we could do watches. It's fine. The, the point being, right, is if, you, uh, if you're if you trying to benefit from a long rest, I think the thing here is, is right now none of you need to benefit from a long rest. So this doesn't need nope. to be a functional long rest. This just needs, you guys just need passage of time, basically. So, um, uh, yeah, is that what you guys want to do? Functional again, we need to wait seven hours? Yeah, what, what, what? Seven hours? No, no, no. You, you, for him to be functional, you need to wait uh, three more hours so he can have four intelligence. At four when intelligence, will, when, when he will can he be function. combat ready? At four, at, at three more hours, at four intelligence, he will be functional. He can perform everything that he does now. He's just gonna be really Stupid. well. Yes. It's not gonna be. He's it's gonna not gonna be stupid. To he's gonna have a. He's gonna have a very bad penalty against anything intelligence based. Yeah. What? So, if so you guys... when the next thing we kill has more little baby brains, I'm fucked. <laughs> well, again. Maybe. Yeah. Be scared and run away. I, I don't know what's going on. Three more hours before making any further progress. Agreed. Okay. Begin the resting. So, is, is that what you guys want to do? Okay, That's so you, you hang out for another three hours, point. and you can hear... Right, you can hear the jaunty tunes and the laughing and cheering <laughs> up from the, the, the laughing. Portal, right? Here's what people just having. I bet a, they're already dead. 
people just having a jolly good time, right? You hear, you hear, uh, you hear a better time up there so, than so, you were having so, here. So, Ashes, <laughs> how, how did you get involved in the uh, uh, order that you served? Oh, well, that's actually an interesting story. Um, I lived with my father in uh, El Terrell, uh, which is a pretty good ways around here. Not not as far as a friend over here, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I was... continue drooling. Thank you. No, you're asking. not drooling anymore. <laughs> no, I still but, drool. Uh, oh, you do it intentionally now? Gotcha. <laughs> Does he have enough intelligence to do it intentionally? Alexa, turn the light on. I don't have enough intelligence to close my mouth yet. He might he might find it uh, amusing. That's why he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dope. But uh yeah, um eventually uh my father got arrested in Elturel and the uh hell riders of the city took him away and unfortunately that was the last I saw of him. Uh I kind of lived on the streets for a little bit and uh uh, I became a little malnourished, and eventually I passed out. And when I woke up, I was uh, in the care of the Order, uh, the Order of Sharp Teeth. Uh, they brought like me back. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Order is named teeth. after the wooden which it resides. Um, the Wood the of sharp, sharp Teeth. The sharp Teeth Wood. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Wood of Sharp Teeth. <laughs> it's a place. You. you I was about to say the C. I'm trying not to say certain words on the stream yet. No one else has said them yet. So I'm trying not to cuss on the stream yet. Fuck that noise. I was trying not to say the cunt word. Oh. Wow. Well, we did. We did make the rule, right? And I think. Christ I think the rule was dude. like everyone gets one per per episode. Is that what it was? You, I didn't know. You, God dang, that's like too much. Your options were. I'm trying not to say the c word, and you're just like, I'm gonna hit it. I'm just gonna hit it. it. No, that's not. Okay. That's a bug, it, man. There's the copy pasta about the. Uh, that the, was that was just amazing. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that's that's wow. That's that's a. Uh, how I ended up in the care of the order. I've uh, been with them ever since. Where where are the, the sharp teeth forests located? Uh, actually, just uh, spitting distance away from El <laughs> To the <laughs> you're not smart enough to do that, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in another hour. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, south southwest <laughs> of the city of Vale Trail is uh, the Wood of Sharp Teeth, and uh, that's 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 where I that's where I lived. It's <clears throat> interesting. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Oh uh, yeah. How about you? Where do you come from? Did you uh, grow up here in the city? Uh, well, I I grew up in the Southwood, which is uh, a bit to the east of Waterdeep. Oh, so kind of a local. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm more local than than the rest of. Yeah, well. The group. But this this is my first time in in Waterdeep myself. I've only been there for uh, almost a year now. Cool. What about you, Bones? Where do you hail from? Oh yeah, I'm from Pyatt. We just, um, over there. It's a while away. Another continent. It's a cool place. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, hey, we just recently, like, I haven't actually been on this realm? World? Planet? planet? What, what did they call it? Planet? Uh, they'd call it a world. world. Yeah. Plane? World, world for very long. Just took like I don't know, like a year or two, right? Year or two, Jeremy? Something like, well, a handful of years at most. Handful of years, you know. I was born on a beer. So <laughs> that may may or may not mean something to some of you. It means it definitely means something to Ezra, right? Ezra Ezra understands what that is. I don't know if Ashes does, and Matashtai probably doesn't have a. Because he's already from a different planet. So, like, 
Oh, uh, yeah, he's also uh, he's also stupefied. <laughs> um, so, uh, you guys pass the time about uh at the two hour mark, right? Matashtai becomes at two intelligence. Matashtai starts talking to himself. He becomes more responsive, right? It's like uh, if you check his eyes with the light, you know that type of thing. Um, at three. You you begin to regain your fine motor control. You can actually get up, and you're a little wobbly, but you're okay, right? You 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 now understand what is going on around you, and something we haven't discussed so far. You've been a prisoner in your own head this entire time. <laughs> Perfect. Like you have been, uh, like you've done the whole like seeing behind screaming eyes type, oh God, type that situation. Is a- nightmare Jerry. yeah it is it's horrendous um and it's probably something that matash died never wants to go through again uh but uh you feel yourself coming out of it slowly but you're surely you feel yourself coming out um and at that four hour mark you have regained enough of your fine motor skill and um your ability you're you still feel sluggish Right, you still feel slow on the draw for everything, but you can communicate and you can move and act and think independently and do what you want to. Raise not what you, not what you need to. No, think, nope, let's leave him. I don't think your your speech isn't necessarily slowed. Your thought is slowed. That was ah. Uh... He is turned into a sloth. I I, I see cut, it now. I cut my neck. <laughs> I, I I bite my tongue. I bite the, I bite my tongue. Oh, I break man. the staff of power. I still don't feel real oh, good. I'm gonna stay back for a while. Let's. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's I let's think... go though. I'm ready to go. All right. You look it. Ready to you go. Uh, navigate yourself, yourselves back to where uh, you were. I want to go. I want to actually look pillar. at these statues, right? Like the one that that uh, supposedly uh, the skeleton was pointing at. I want to start fucking with it. Was it this one? Uh, yeah, it's the one to the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to start patting it down. Seeing it like twisting on things, see if anything kind of like gives. Okay. I don't, haphazardly, not really like. Yeah. Is there, is there a hole I need to stick something in? Yeah, sure, there's... sure. Gotcha. Uh. Roll me a d100. <laughs> Roll. One d100. Good lord. <laughs> that could be good. It's this uh it's this weird horrendous like half boar, half pig or or half boar, half uh uh a weird winged creature with tusks and a double chin. It looks bloated. Um and you're you're kind of you're like you're pressing on things and Matt's just walking down the hallway like this. It's very weird. <laughs> Dude, this was your time. This is the place you wanted to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah this is mm-hmm. where you're going to ascend to be the highest of the, the ranks in your people. Yeah, man. I thought There's this was the it. reason it's the beginning. <laughs> uh, all right. Gotcha. So uh, you guys find yourselves back at uh, the Pillar Forest, um, and I need someone to roll me a 1d12. I don't see how that 1d100 went. I'm going to opt out. Seven. Fuck it, I'll roll it. I did it, fuck off. Uh, already done. Uh, so you hear something um, kind of skitter off in the distance, uh, a ways to the um south southwest right kind of echoes through these long halls um but nothing happens nothing comes uh the bodies of the bugbears and intellect devourers that you have left behind uh do not seem to have been disturbed 
I'm gonna get my bullseye lantern out. Okay. If you can remember how. I turn back. Ash, can you get my bullseye lantern out? You can get your bullseye lantern out. You, I literally <laughs> described you as having the functionality to be he in combat. He made the comment that if I know how. <sighs> what are you wanting to do with your uh, bullseye? I'm not the DM. I can't decide. I can't. I make would it. like to light it and put it on my hip so I can see things far away to shoot them with my bow. Okay, but the bullseye uh, has a conal scenario, so it can't see all That's around That's fine. It. I just need to see where I'm shooting. Okay. Uh, what's the range on, on it? Fuck it. I, you know, I'm going to keep both out. Let's double up. Double lanterns. So you have you have a radius, and you also have a cone sticking out of the radius? Yep. And both are just hanging at my belt. Why are you trying it's to make things to difficult for me? <laughs> what's so I just the... turn to the party... And I What's tell the what light radius light. on the bullseye? 60-60. Okay. Wow. That's... So it does nothing. That is... It makes a 30-foot dim bright. That's what it does, right? Oh, wait, sorry. 60-foot in front of you is also dim. Past the bright. You are making that very complicated. 60 bright, 60 dim. In a cone. Yes. Uh, so it's a total of 120. Right, but your other lantern is 30-30. Jake, you're muted. Correct. So there's going to be a fraction of that radius that is bright light. and then Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you have a 60 foot around... 60, 30 is bright, 60 is dim. But then you have a cone coming out of the dim the dim bubble. That is also, the cone is bright and then out here is dim. Correct. Mm -hmm. It basically okay. imagine like a, a keyhole. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I'm imagining it. All right. You did this to yourself. You now have uh, a <laughs> your own light radius is the bullseye, and now you have this little uh, lantern token that you have to. It's not working right. Huh? I have nothing but fog of war and a cone. have with uh with that you should have plenty of sight no uh, i only got the cone why does why do you not have sight with this all players have sight sword of omens oh okay i know what it is uh hold up i gotta i gotta swap them it's because i set the i set the bullseye as yours and i should have set the uh other one as the bullseye so let me swap them real quick okay 60, 30, and your angle is fine. Save. Boom. There you go. So that little light, that now. little, huh? I see absolutely nothing now. <laughs> Why? That's. Oh, it's because the angle is fucking shit. Save. Uh, it should just Hey, default. I see things. Yeah. Okay, so I let everybody know that South says certain death. And I heard something down there. Yeah. And then west, there's like mirrors. And it looks like there was a torch that was recently on. And up, I'm going to let you guys know, I'm most optimistic about north. Because there's a little room. And nothing seemed really dangerous, like immediately. It seemed immediately dangerous. Sounds good enough for government work. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> government. Government. <laughs> All right, I so, I, like that, but so I think at this point, uh, I think at this point we're gonna pop back into exploration mode. Everyone, go ahead and select their tokens and roll initiative. Let's get started. A lot of initiative. You guys are doing uh, paralysis, so let's just uh, put it on the initiative tracker and do something each turn. Paralysis. I was just gonna go. Okay. So we're going up. Ashes. After this My conversation, wow. what do you want to do? I'm sorry. Uh, I will, uh, as directed by uh, Bones, head my happy ass uh, north. Okay. 
and in my turn. Fantastic. Matashta, you're up. I also head north, optimistic that something will not eat my brain this time. <laughs> so you you walk forward and you're you're like standing uh because and I'm just gonna this is just for fun flavor, right? You're just you're still feeling a little sluggish and you walk over underneath this pillar and then like you look up and there's just this giant skeleton of a constrictor snake wrapped around this pillar that you're under. I shoot it. <laughs> you fire off an arrow. Please deduct one arrow. <laughs> Okay. Um, ah! it, it hits the wall. It scatters, skitters to the ground. Nothing doing. I mean, you could probably just walk back over and pick it up. Um, your sluggishness. Uh, fine. Ezra, what would you like to do? I guess I'm gonna follow the party and hopefully not get so far behind. <laughs> sounds like a plan well I, I think we're not running at this point so we'll see yeah no, i think you dashed you the guy stood no chance against took the winds out of our sail already <laughs> i took the winds out of your sail <laughs> well mitch's unfortunate accident really bones you're up yeah right <laughs> 5 10 15 20 25 30 well mitch 30. don't forget to take your uh your or your bullseye lantern with you. My turn's over. Oh, you're not, you're not um, like progressing sorry. further? What did you say, I'm, Jeremy? I'm not going to die. The only dot is your that hooded lantern. That, yeah, that, little, little, bleh, 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 bleh. that yellow dot is your bullseye lantern. What the fuck dot? Okay. Yeah. I cannot see it. I have to go back over here. I cannot control that dot. Uh, You should be able to. It is I also edited. Agree I should. It is. Why are you so damn difficult? Well, you just give me 60 everywhere, and then I'll pretend it's in a cone. Uh, or not. <laughs> um, it is editable by all players. I'll give it to you specifically. Maybe that will change. Uh, let's give it to everyone specifically, actually. Also, Jeremy, Since... apparently your sound is not going through the stream. What? My sound, as in like my voice. Mm. Rock says, "Sound won't go through Twitch." That's that all the sucks. info I got. Okay, let's check this real quick. Um, I bet it's this crap. Probably for the better. Uh, we'll see if that fixed it. I bet it did. Um, do 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 do. Could you hear me through it beforehand? I have I've had it muted until just now. Okay, well I uh, just changed test. something, so it's probably because of the change, I would assume. So that's okay though, no big deal. Uh, we're gonna have tef technical difficulties eventually. Can you control the uh, light yet, yeah, Mitch? Mitch. Uh, Brock says he can hear you now, and let me try. No, light, light, no move. Okay, can you control that one? Mm, nope, nope, can't control that one either. Mm. I thought we'd just give them 60 all. Well, I'm more worried about the scenario. So for now, uh, he, we'll just leave it as is. It's give fine. me the 60 cone thing. I'll just move around and I'll turn myself in all directions. <laughs> Well, it's, it. That's the thing. It's not a sixty cone. It's a hundred and twenty. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Give me the hundred and twenty cone. Give me the hundred twenty cone. I don't want to give you the hundred and twenty cone. <laughs> Why not? Because that means you could be seeing things that you wouldn't normally be seeing things. That's what I have. You. <laughs> that. That's, that's the thing. Have. Oh, you want that? You're saying put the hundred twenty cone. Give me the cone bullseye on cone. You? Oh, Just... that's so dumb though. You're not gonna be able to see crap except for in the cone. Don't, I like, agree, but <laughs> like, I... or you can give me dark vision. I'd be Whatever, cool freaking <laughs> no. Here's your here's your dumbass freaking cone. <laughs> like if that's what you want. There's your cone. I love it. I'm just... sure. 
And guess oh, yeah. what I do now? I do this. Jesus. I do this. Easy. Okay. Um. <laughs> so who's up? Uh. Where are you guys going? Ashes, you're up. And this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. How no, is this, this is my no, fault? No, 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 this is this is technical difficulty. Like, like legitimately. Like, I have I have a token here that should be editable by anyone. Edited and controlled by anyone, but it's just not working correctly. So, you know, it happens. <clears throat> Ashes advances forward through the northern hallway and ends his turn. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, you see a door, a hall to your right and a doorway there. And uh, Matashta, you're up. Okay, um... I'm going to turn myself 30 degrees to the northwest. Oh, wait, I was up here. God, this is fucking hard to get through these pillars. Oh, oh God, I whew, I am lagging trying to move my token. Okay, okay. We're moved. I just have to use arrows. Okay, there's, there's, I, got, I got five steps. I press the button. We'll see if I move. And 15. Take his vision 20, away. 20. Lantern 30. malfunction. Okay, we're going to look this way. Yeah, it looks like a door. I'm going to look this way. Um, can you looks not like... see the slot? Oh, no, you can't see the god. I can see I can see the yellow thing on me now. Yeah, but it you can't. It doesn't give you light. It, it doesn't give you light because you have a cone. That's why I was trying to put the cone on the light, not on you. I hate this. I hate this so much. This should work just Ban fine. Ban lanterns. Ban them. This should work. We might have to. What? But I want to see. You can see. Maybe you should have got dark vision then. Wait, why are you trying to see further than everyone else can see? Because if I'm shooting from the back yes. and they're 40 feet forward, that's as yes. far as I can see. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I get why you're trying to do it. I'm just mad that you're trying to do it <laughs> and i'm only mad because it's not working i'm mad in general uh All right. let me do there's a door this. up here should we try the door porch is it locked i don't know try it i'm gonna walk over to the door uh i don't hear anything that way i'm gonna look at the door why is my stuff just like a thousand feet apart hold up i'm gonna try to do another fix in a moment though i might have actually gotten it oh oh i can control it i can move it boom yeah oh yeah all right you're you're you have the hooded lantern on you the dot is the bullseye lantern and you can point it and do whatever the hell you want okay Getting sorry dope. technical all difficulties right. suck but you know it's a part of getting used to new shit um okay so you make your way over to this door um can we put my token over the top of the light? Uh, yeah, you can right-click and set to to back. <laughs> to back seat. Oh, like that. Oh. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm gonna try this door. What's this? What's this door feeling like? Um. Yeah. Uh. It. You, so you, there's a door handle. You just pull it open. Yeah. Does it pull outward? Uh, okay, uh, Matashtai, please roll me a dexterity saving throw. Your DC Thank is... God it's not intelligence. All right, let's do this. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you actually do oh. not need to roll anything. You pull the door open, um, <laughs> and within this room, you There's see a black star. an unadorned wooden armor stand resting in the middle of the room with a faintly... There's a wooden armor stand. ...with a faintly glowing longsword stabbed into it. At the base of the stand lies the skeletal remains of a hand amidst a pool of dried blood. You can hear murmuring like the echo of distant voices. Hmm. Dominus that, is all hell. This, this seems like a bad room to be in. Uh, there's voices. Mm -hmm. And it's Ezra's turn. <laughs> you got... 
chat talking is a free action and is not limited to your turn. That's up. So you can feel free to to yell things out or call things out or talk to each other during, right? Or continue your explanation or how you feel about this room. Um, I ate too much pasta. Ezra comes walking over. Is there anything else, anything you want to do, Ezra, specifically? Ah, not really. All no, right, just... uh, Bones. Um, Hello. What are, you, what are you up to? Hello. 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 Um, I want to catch up. Five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, hmm. I guess that's a wall. Thirty. 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 Thirty like armor stand like you would normally adorn armor onto it right uh like a mannequin style scenario um but there's just the sword plunged through the chest of it oh, and it's that's ominous it's glowing i'll be honest i don't know what to make of that it's beyond me um for, uh, I'll, I'll dash 5 10 15 20 i'll look in there Huh. So you now, now where you're at, right? You can see a little further into the room. Matashta, you can kind of see this as well. But there's a uh, there's a little alcove at the far southeastern end of the room. I turn back. It looks ominous as all hell, but I guess do you think the stand's gonna attack us? I don't know. Ashes, why don't you answer that question for us? What? Hey, it's still... if, if you if you take too long doing stuff, I'm just gonna skip to the next person. Is, is that's, that's, this isn't like a punishment thing or anything like that. But this is uh, exploration is kind of like a feeling moving around mode. So if you if you move and then you stop and talk for a while, like we're just gonna kick on to the next person. So the the uh, the wooden stand is the star in the middle of the room, right? Yes, the wooden stand is the star in the middle of the room. Thirty. Uh, and there is a uh, like a the skeletal hand at the base. Okay. Uh, well, then I will uh, use my action to dash and approach the stand, but uh, that's. That's uh, my action, so... Okay, so now that you're kind of, like, in the center of the room, you hear these murmuring voices, and you see up above you these small slits in the ceiling, almost like vents. Where to God if little brains drop out, I'm running. So, uh, I am going to actively I will leave start... you all here. I will abandon my pilgrimage. Never mind. Never mind. Uh... Uh, I would like to listen uh, on like closely listen to the sounds of the murmuring to see if I can't make out words. Okay. Uh, it takes you a second and then you realize uh, that sounds like the yawning portal. It's like there's uh like this is a vent leading up to the portal or something like that and there's there's an armor stand a skeletal hand and a long sword mm -hmm. yep uh moving on matashtai what do you want to do i'm very confused <laughs> Go in there, just crap. just very confused i'm a i'm a step up in here right I see something over here. What's that? Oh, that's part of the other wall. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um. Well, you see an alcove down there. I don't want to touch anything. Don't touch anything. I'm going to sit right here with my bow ready. I'm. I'm, I'm All right, I'm Ezra, you're up. I'm going to keep up now. Yeah. <laughs> So you round the corner and you see your allies just kind of like in various states of like wariness and caution staring at this wooden armor stand with a sword 
plunge through the chest. Anything you want to do? Nothing from this distance. All right, Bones, you're up. Okay. Um. Two, three, four, five, six. What's in that? Can I see anything in that alcove? Uh, so from where you're at now, you can see. Uh, there's nothing <sighs> specifically in the alcove, but you see two little pinprick holes. Oh, like maybe they... Okay. Huh. Okay. Um, here's what I want to do. Neither of us are, like, really close to this yet. I do want to go over there, but not yet. Mm -hmm. I want to take out my 10-foot pole. Sure. So, Bones... Like, okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, right, like... Is... In my bag of holding, mother. Okay, so he pulls oh. out this... <laughs> Oof, oof, length this <laughs> 10 right. foot it's rod kind of 10 feet of pole yeah 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 and i want to see if i can't just knock that sword out of there oh okay um so you give it a good like wallop uh the stand itself right the wooden stand um jostles slightly ever so slightly like you could probably knock it over over, over but the mm. sword itself is pretty firmly stuck in the thing mm. okay uh, i'm pretty good for my turn okay ashes you're up okay so would i remember if the skeleton in the hallway was missing a hand or not uh, oh that's Mm. Not that you remember. Uh, He's a thinking man. I'm not capable of that. All right. I'm going to Same. pocket the skeletal hand. You're going to pocket the... Okay, so you reach down, grab the skeletal hand. Um, I'll, 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 I'll sniff it. Whatever. Matt's just back there like... Hey, so Matt. please hey, notate... Hey, Matt, look, uh, you know you're still wearing a severed finger necklace, right? Oh God! <laughs> Just please notate skeletal hand from uh, sword room. Lord. Um, anything else that you want to do? Uh, I mean, if that's my action, uh, then it's no. not actions. Um, like, don't don't okay. worry about action right. specifically. Well, Just what do you want to do I will, on your I will turn? Follow suit in yeah. with uh with uh Bones's idea. And I'll reach into my backpack and I'll grab my grappling hook. I okay. will grapple the the armor stand and pull it out of the center of the room. Oh, the the armor stand? Yeah. Just so the, you you and altogether. you start to like pull over and it's uh <laughs> like you're pulling the whole thing. Um, so it kind of like uh, uh, slides across. It's pretty heavy. It slides across yep. the room. Uh, so you you huh. literally pull it over. Um, I just want, oh, wow, it's. Yeah. I'll, I'll just... There we go. You pull. Oh, oh which one is it? Wait, wait. Alt. Is it this way? Yeah, it's alt. There you go. You pull it over five feet towards you. All right. Now that it's out of the center of the room, where traps may have been lying. Sure. Uh, I will. I will then stand on top of it, putting my feet on the wooden part. No, it's it's up. Like it's up. Oh. Yeah, it's like I'm standing. Gonna, it I'll, has a I'll big, it has a solid base, right? Okay, that keeps so it keeps it firmly upright. Yeah, okay. you could knock it over. You've seen it kind of wobble, yeah. but I'll, I'll just put my foot against it, embrace, grab the sword, and see if I can't. <laughs> you fucking... you okay? So you guys watch as Ashes <laughs> rips this glowing long sword out of this uh, <sighs> this wooden armor. Uh, uh, set or wooden armor stand. I got um, it. Matashtai, what would you like to do? Um, this is kind of weird. I'm gonna go watch the hall. Okay, <laughs> so Matashtai doesn't like doesn't like the sense of what's going on here. So he's kind of like, uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna. Um, Ezra, what would you like to do? 
seeing Mateshtai come back and seeing the sword pulled off of a stand that was just dragged into my view. Yep. I don't know. So are, are, are they doing something they shouldn't be doing? You know, I don't even Probably. understand what they're doing. Getting a sword? I got a sword! Is is there anything else in there of interest, guys? I don't know. I mean, Just... do, a, I mean do we see the backside of the statue? Like... So the, again, these aren't statues. They're bar really they're carvings in the wall, right? Okay. There's a little the little alcove, about like uh maybe six inches or so, set into the wall on each of these, and it's a carving, like a fresco. Okay. You know, right, carved so into the wall. Is there a fresco on the backside of it as well? No, on this it is the backside of this is flat, smooth, and you just see from from how far away you guys are, you just see two little pinpricks. Oh. Oh, we were probably being watched. That'd be my guess, but I haven't had a turn to go over there and look yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's Bones's. It's Europe. Nothing's happening. What do you want to do? I go you want to go over? Yeah. Wine, yeah. Dirty. I can't really get closer than that. You get up on it, and it's e it, these things are these things are like around eye height, eye spaced apart, right? Little slits. They look exactly like peepholes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you see, just set off to the side, actually in this uh, this little nook down here that you couldn't see until you actually got past the wall, there's a little button. A button? Mm -hmm. oh, a little, little button. button on the wall. I'd like to dash with my bonus action. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. You close the distance. That's gonna be so good for exploration. I'd like yeah. to look through one, with like. I want to like hold up, a hand and like kind of. I don't want to get stabbed in the face. Just in case. <laughs> uh, you look, you look across. You you peep through and you you see an empty hall and on the other side of the hall you see. Uh, a figure that almost seems to pull itself from the stone. It's half human, half shadow, and it has these great big horns and tattered wings. You have seen this before. It, it was in the hall. Uh, okay, cool. You can. Now I press the button. Uh, so you press the button, and there's this... Uh, and this stone false wall slides away. Uh, revealing the hall uh, that you were in. Yeah, cool. I press the um, button again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it slides back. Alright, I use the last fucking 20 feet of my movement to leave. Is everything okay in there, guys? Yeah, it's good. It's a, it's a fake, fake wall. Fake wall. Mm -hmm. uh, ashes. What do you want to do? I want to take my skeletal hand back to my skelly bro, but I don't know if we're going back that way. Okay. No, just keep it for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it for now. And uh, while I'm walking over to Ezra, uh, I'll, I'll kind of like half the sword, kind of like look at it, see if there's any like thing on it. Does it feel magical? Does it? Is it just made out of what? Uh... <laughs> So, uh, the sword itself faintly glows, right? Um, and it looks like a, a fine, ornate sword. Um, nothing overly special or anything like that, but it looks well made. Is it, uh, steel? Iron? Gold? Yeah, it's, it's steel. Steel. Yep. Or it seems to be a steel. Faintly glowing steel sword. Feel magical at all? You know. We're not allowed to feel magic anymore. Yeah, you're not allowed oh, to feel okay. magic in this one anymore. Yeah. It okay. makes spells for that. Uh, I or try skills to let for that. go of the sword. <laughs> it does not release from your hand. Damn, that's why you cut it off. <gasps> Yeah, that makes sense. Bam, bam, bam! You want me to cut your hand off? 
don't touch my fucking hand. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, try as you might over the next few <clears throat> moments. The sword does not release from your grasp. Yo, what if I just cut the flesh touching the sword off? I could do that. I can do that really easily. I'm really good at that. Just belay okay, the asses. skin off him. <laughs> just like the top level of skin. We're just watching Jesus. Ashes like flail his heart arm around. Yep. Hmm. Ashes. <sighs> Bones, cool. you feel free to like uh, close the distance at this point, right? I feel like we've oh, okay, popped cool. into a little bit of a role play moment, so anyone who wants to move or, or regroup is uh, free so, to do uh, so. Hey guys, I can do it. I have this special knife. I can just top layer of skin will just come right off. I Technically, will that you... special knife allows you to not cut bone. It doesn't allow you to specifically play just yeah, skin but flesh. But I'm a fucking skinner, bro. I mean, like, maybe. Not... We can we what can check. We can see. Uh, I'll make the roll. I don't care. <laughs> I know you I don't, don't care. I, don't think I'm comfortable with this. <laughs> I think I'll just I think I'll just attack with this for a while. This is, that's fine. Okay. Sure. It's fine. It's, until we can. Does Does yeah, anybody know? Minus... Remove curse. It's a cursed longsword of minus three. Yeah, that's actually. Yeah. Hey, well, I'll let you try to cut it off if you let me hit you to see how much damage it does. Pass. Ah. Oh. Solid, Ooh. solid, solid action plan there. I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, so so this uh, this obviously cursed sword now in Ash's physical possession, right? Uh, we find ourselves at that point. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, do Do you guys want to just continue onwards? Is that the plan? Okay. I, uh, I talk to the party and I say, I'm not an expert on dungeons, but I don't think this is going great so far. I think, fine, I think honestly. actually this is going how most dungeons go, right? Like, you, you you walk into a place, you get jumped, you do a little fighting, you find some secret doors, you fuck with some cursed shit that you probably shouldn't, and you keep going. <laughs> Sounds like a dungeon crawl to me. <laughs> We're just getting it all out of the way right away. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it sounds like uh, I discard no... my skeletal hand. You discard the skeletal hand. Once, so once we die, we'll come back with the proper okay. characters, with healing, detect magic, uh, protection from good and evil, all this shit, and we'll be ready. Yeah, sounds sounds good. Okay, so that being said, uh, I think uh, we're just, we're not gonna re-roll initiative. Let's just uh, clip into things, uh, and I think Matt Ashes was the last really to go. So Matashta, yep. Man, it is a slow response. I'll try to move. Uh, yeah, One e. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna fucking. God damn it, you stupid torch! I want you to move and not me. Fuck it. We both step out. Um. Yeah. Sure. Do it. So you see uh, both to the east and the west, long <clears throat> halls. Okay, I'm going to turn um, my torch hold up. Yeah, sure. Torch turned. Uh, yeah. I don't think torch is giving proper distance. Oh, maybe it is. Never mind. It's good. It's These good. are long halls, yeah. So you see eventually to the west, the hall does seem to end and turn northwards. And then to the east, the hall seems to end and turn both north and south. Looks and, uh, pretty clear up here. Yep. I think we move on to take Ezra. A couple at more that point. steps. Yep, sure. How about it, uh, Ezra? What do you want to do? Yeah, Since you guys have moved so out of that slow. area. Is it chugging for you guys? Might uh, yeah, you might try reloading anyone who's uh, who it is going slow for. That might help fix it. Sometimes roll twenty, uh, basically just I don't know semi memory leaks. I guess it doesn't quite memory leak, but it uh it gets a bunch of stuff going on. Itself. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you step out into this room with uh Matash tie. um. Anything specific you want to do? I need the map to reload. Oh, Sorry. gotcha. I just, I just say. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. 
So you see uh, probably not to the east and west, just these long stretches of hallway um, out before you. Anything in the hallways? They're pretty nondescript. Yeah, there are uh, ten, 10 by 10 halls uh, carved and uh, um, old, ancient, right? But nothing specific. Bones. Okay. Okay, so, like, I'm gonna move. I just want to offer the criticism, but 30 feet during exploration is really slow, and that's like why I've been dashing. That's why you have that Five, option, 100. percent Well, so if you'll if you'll double 30. check the the scenario, so you basically have up to like two actions. You can cover a lot of distance, but the thing about it is, is is if you're running. It's gonna take a long, or you're gonna cover a lot of distance quickly, but you're gonna run into something like you did previously, right? If you're I, gonna so run I ahead of to, everyone. Two actions, do I have up to sixty feet of movement, or do I only have no, thirty no, no. feet of? No, you have thirty feet of movement, but you can utilize multiple actions, basically. You're overthinking the thing from a mechanic standpoint. Just move to where you want to move within reason, right? And tell me what you want to do. Is basically all you're trying to do. Yeah, no, I just want to move down this hallway with the group. Sure, well, that's easy enough. You just move along with the group. You don't have to worry about, you know, going 120 feet or going 60 feet or going 30 feet at that point. You just stay with the group. Okay, it was just like it's taking a while. That's all I'm saying. Well, I mean, uh, we like, can move uh, at a more clipped pace. Ashes, where do you want to? What do you want to do? I want to follow. Okay. Uh, if there's nothing else you want to do, Matashtai, what's up? I want to chop my hand off. I am going but I, like to... Like I said previously, right? Not every single turn has to be 50,000 things. You can literally just be like, I move here, I'm done. And then yeah. we move on, you know? Um, and do I hear, like, any sounds down this hall at all? Roll me a perception check. Okay. What's your passive? Your passive is like, like D 16. 16 or something like that? Yeah, roll me perception. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 25. 25 is really good, yeah. Um, you... You don't... You hear occasionally a crackle. Like, uh, like the crackle of fire. Fire? Hmm. Hmm. I turn back to the party and I say, <laughs> Okay. Uh, Ezra. I do some weird hand motions that have no sense right back in <laughs> that don't actually mean anything he just makes hand gestures okay <laughs> but i slowly creep, creep along bones four five six um if i dash with my bonus action or is it quieter than not then an action dash? Dashing is... in general means uh, that you're running, which means you're not trying to be quiet. Okay. Well, I mean, he's going to be quiet because of his boots. He, now, he's Bones is going to 100% naturally be more quiet than any of the fucking rest of you. Probably Bones running is probably still more quiet than you guys just trying to be quiet. But I'm, like, kind of quiet. From a mechanical standpoint, if Bones is dashing then he's not being, quote-unquote, stealthy. Right. I agree. Okay. Okay. Well, I just moved down the hallway. Okay. Ashes, you're up. I also moved down the hallway. Mm, Motastra, you're up. Okay. I am going to keep on moving forward. Mm -hmm. Fifth. One. One. Thirty. Okay. So as you come to this uh, edge, you can see um, the split to the north dead ends almost immediately, and then the split to the south um, continues. It just juts south for a second and then continues eastward. Uh, there is a door 
on the back side of this uh, this northern alcove. Here? Uh, yeah, on the western wall, though. Hmm. Like, you can just see it by, like, peering around the edge, basically. Okay. Okay. Is uh, the sound of the fire coming from behind that door? Yeah, I'll say with a, with a 25 perception, yeah. That, that would be the general direction that you would have heard it in. A point towards the group. Ezra, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to creep forward, and while I am, I'm going to be running my hand across the wall, trying to check to see if maybe there's a false wall or any of that. Roll me an investigation. Nope. Uh, you see cracks and signs of wear and aging, but nothing that suggests a false wall. Bones. Three, four, five, six. I'm good. Okay. Ashes. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I use my action to dash. Sure. Okay. So Backed you up with, with Matt. Yeah, you almost reach that edge, and you see Matt is pointing uh, around this corner. Uh, Matashtai, what do you want to do now that most of your party is more caught up? <sighs> All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, fuck it. I forgot to drop the book. I dropped the book. I'm gonna walk over here, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm not smart enough to look at for look for traps. I'm just gonna open the door. Uh, you go to pull the door, and it <coughs> it, it is locked. Is there like a lock, like a like a like a keyhole? Uh, yeah. So it's it's basically a latch, like a loop, where you would put your hand. Um, but there is um. I guess what you would say, like a, a dwarven made inset lock at the base of this loop. It looks like a little, little hole. Okay. Uh, I kind of poke my head back around and like, <laughs> I'm not going to make the hand motion I was about to make. <laughs> oh, come on. We wouldn't make a gif out of that. <laughs> and I point towards the door and... And I just mouth. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move down to the corner and keep an eye on this hallway with my bow. Cool. Sounds good. Ezra, you're up. Uh, I'm going to continue walking forward, checking the wall. From your position, uh, Matashtai, as you head down into this southern hallway, you can see it continues eastward for about 40 feet or so, and then it turns northward, um, but it also turns southward. Okay. Okay. Anything else, Ezra? Just creeping did forward. I, did I notice anything with the this length of the wall? No. That is all. Okay, Bones, you're up. Uh, okay. Uh, Dash. Um. You come around five the corner feet. and you see this uh, this dash. stone inset door. Five foot basically. dash, Jesus. But you should stop worrying about the specifics of the mechanics as much. Just move, if it's within a reasonable range, just move there. Okay, I'd like to move right there. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're so hardcore about this exact number. <laughs> You st I'm just going with what was said, okay? I'm sorry. I I, I exist within structure. The only reason okay. I said what I said is because I knew if I didn't say specifics, you'd be like, well, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And well, this is where it got us. Probably. <laughs> this is where it got us. Okay, so it's locked, right? He says it's locked. Yeah, yeah it's talking. locked. Yeah. Uh, 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 people. people, animals, danger. Uh, you can hear... Um, you hear breathing on the other side. Breathing. Mm. It, it uh, uh, akin to the scenario of, of people intentionally trying to be quiet. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Not everything down here is dangerous, right? 
I show him my hand. <laughs> it's just this <laughs> glowy short sword, or glowy long sword, just stuck in his hand. Just stuck in that hand. Um. Maybe it comes off when you kill something. Maybe. But, but it has, like, negative damage, so hitting something with it heals it. I lean back around the corner. I whisper. Oh. There's people in there. Stage whisper. Yeah, there you go. Stage it's, whisper. Uh, Good job. Just for the stream. I stage whisper for the stream. Oh, say. I, I don't know what you. What stage whisper better? That's what I was saying. Oh, I thought you, you you said it was locked. You didn't say yeah, there were people. But I also said. Pirate. Oh. Should, should we just knock? I knock. You knock, okay. You just knocked. Okay. There's a, a, a few moments pass, right? And uh, Bones, because of because you have an 18 in your passive perception, you can hear, you hear like this. I, that's what, I, what are you doing? Like you, so you can't make out the words, but you can hear like, very faint whispering on the other side um and then you you hear this you hear this click and then you hear this t -t 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 -t, like the uh like the running of feet away or towards away right like you hear a click at the door as though it's been unlocked and then you hear the pitter patter of feet um running away from it weird did we just get reverse ding dong door ditched <laughs> okay uh can i use my second action to open the door as long as no one else wants to interfere with what you're doing right now and and step in you can do whatever you want can i just move myself a little yeah bit? have at it like if you guys want to reposition yourself slightly while this is happening go ahead but if you want Bones to be point man and, and open this door, that's fine. Uh, I Ash is still ready his shield. I don't want to be in front of it. Uh, it's a big, solid, heavy stone door. To open it, you're going to have to open it. All right. So if you don't want to do it, let someone else do it. Ash is Dude, Ash I will kick the shit out of that door. Ash is I sure. try the handle. Is it unlocked now? Yeah. Okay, Ash has I step up. Sure. Step around the corner. I'm I'm trying. I, I, I'm not taking my own advice. Gotcha. Uh, and I will just obliterate this door. <laughs> Are you like putting <laughs> shoulder to it? He just forces the door I, to cease existing. I don't know existing. it's unlocked. You did not tell me it was unlocked. Yes, Last I did. Time I heard you were stage whispering that it's locked. So I'm kicking the shit open. Okay. Okay. The unlocked door what? goes boom, flies open, and you startle oh, the shit of God. out of a bunch of of pale faced, refined dressed uh, individuals that ashes to you immediately look like vampires. And they look at you and, <sighs> and that's, oh shit! That's where we're gonna close out tonight's session. <laughs> Why did it unlock the door? <laughs> uh, so we will we will start next time um, <laughs> with uh, figuring out what the hell you guys have just gotten yourselves into as you. So everyone have their backup character prepared so you <laughs> like you you Sent specifically in the opening scenario you got be you got tires? warned about a coterie tire. of vampires a in the northern side of the first level and where do you go to the north <laughs> into the coterie of vampires i thought it would be bigger than this i'll be honest with you yeah, yeah. me too oh oh <laughs> There's I feel still like a lot more I want to do this boys. for the stream and just zoom out and out there here. This is the rest of the north. So, 
Uh, well, boys, that was fun. We got a couple of kinks to work out with, uh, with clearly with the stream and with how we're operating um, certain things. I think, right, we're thinking about exploration mode way stricter than it actually needs to be. Um, it, the point of the initiative tracker is just to make sure that everyone stays involved and continues doing things. If you guys are constantly moving and constantly saying what you want to do, I won't even refer to the initiative tracker. Just keep that in mind, right? It's just if you're just waiting, because we have the we have this habit as a group on occasion. If I'm like, "What do you want to do?" I get twenty seconds of silence. But well, if I'm I say, like "Really down to just take point, one hundred percent explore shit," that sounds really good. I think I, you, I think really after all up in things. I think after a turn or after a session or two of this, right? You guys can talk about it as a group and then come back to me on things. And we'll tweak things and play things out. And I think we'll work out, again, I think we'll work out the kinks in, in a couple of sessions and it'll all be great. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was really uh, concerned when Matashtai got brain drained. Man, of course there's a fucking intelligence-based attack. The thing that I'm absolute worst at. Intellect of ours right off the bat, man. Like, right? who the fuck puts an intellect devour on a bugbear? Xanathar. What intellect is there to devour? Well, uh, that's the point. Eight, huh? the How eight, great is eight, it? I'm sitting there laughing at Mitch. How I does he have an eight first. intelligence? Yeah. He, uh, yeah I mean, I we're playing standard array, right? So he dump statted intelligence. I didn't dump stat anything. It's what it starts at. I didn't have points to put into it. Yeah. I thought everything started at 10. No, nope. everything eight. starts at 8. So if you do standard array, you have one so eight. Zach's character sheet needs to be checked. Check it. Don't think so. Motherfucker, I use standard array. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8. Ah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, no point by you all, You start at 8. Yeah, we did standard array, array or point by because it is functionally the same. Um, it's just you can alter... You don't have to have the actual standard array. You can. I wanted my two fifteens because then I get both to sixteen. Yeah. I get you. Okay. Anyways, uh, I had a lot of fun with that, guys. Um, I'm super excited to be into Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We took we took quite a bit of time with the startup there. Uh, we took like an hour and a half, but that's kind of to be expected on on how we're getting into things. But I think now that we're in the dungeon, it's literally just going to be dungeon crawl scenario so i'm excited oh man um, i am super excited to find out how shitty this cursed sword is <laughs> right we started off strong bunch of things started off strong okay um i think we're gonna go ahead and end the stream here i do want to give a special uh note i want to say that all of the music that i am using is either by tabletop audio kevin mcleod or adrian von ziegler um, all of which are free resources, um, but they they love donations, which I've been doing. I actually bought the Adrian Von Ziegler's complete discography, which is He's so amazing. good. Support him. It's so good. Yeah, if you like any, if you, I mean, I'm saying this to you guys basically, and I think Brock is in the chat. Hey, if you Brock. like D and D hey, music, hey, if you like D and D music, support D and D uh, music creators. So yeah, there you go. Um, but I'm putting that in there for posterity because I do plan on uploading these to YouTube and I do think people should support uh, you should support people that make things in the hobbies that you love um, so hope everyone had a good time I did see y'all next time thanks Jeremy Bye. Well. and